Are we here? I never know if we're live, guys. If we're live, I, I think we might be. I don't know. Because nothing looks correct right now. If, if we're live, let me know in the chat. Because the chat's... Well, I guess if you let me know in the chat, it's still not working. Okay, now everything looks like it's loaded. So guess what? We're going to get started. Thank you guys for not making fun of me. Because, uh, yeah, I had no idea what was going on with there. Thank you, Streamlabs, for always making live streaming a wonderful experience. I appreciate it to the fullest extent. And we are back Monday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time. What is going on, everybody? Who do we have in the chat so far? Crypto Rockets here, Nick F1117, DD214, Brett Texas, Shrody. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Just stopping by to drop a like. Keep spreading positive. You're the best YouTuber. Much love. Good night. Have a great night, Shrudy. Make sure you get some good sleep. I know it's extremely late over there. Nigga, Crypto, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. We will link below. Blah, 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 blah. Claybro, yes, you know what it is. 1111 Simon, blah, blah, blah. Claybro883 on Twitter and the We will link below. And if you want to get started, let's get started. Ocean Terrace here from Miami Beach, here from Ohio. Definitely not at the beach, though. What's going on, Ocean Terrace? Hopefully you're having a good day. Nick F says, Nick F says hello, Shrewdy, a Brett, and 1111, Mr. Simon. Guys, what is going on with this orange line? Like, I, I should have drawn it higher or something today. It seems to be very attracted to this orange line we have on there. JB says, just stopping by to drop a like. Hope, and ev hope everyone is doing well. JB, thank you very much for clicking that like button. I appreciate it. The European Union recommended Monday that its 27 nations reinstate restrictions on tourists from the U.S. because of rising coronavirus infections. There, bearish news. Sam Blow, definitely not for AMC though. For uh, for travel purposes, yeah, I would say so. For AMC, definitely not bearish news. Bring on the bearish news for AMC, guys. Come on, I dare you to try to try to bring me down. It's not gonna happen. It's not orange enough. Well, you know what, Brett? You know what, dude? Tell me it's not orange enough again. Because guess what? I can make it even more orange if we will loads. Come on, Weeble. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging, Weeble. What you doing? I can make it even more orange, bigger and bolder and ready to go. Oh, yes. M. James hanging out with us today. I love when M. James hangs out with us. It always makes me feel so special when I got my favorite guy in the chat. What's up, M. James? Nah, uh, yee I just got a notification. Man, YouTube is on their game today. Good job, YouTube. Orangier. Yes, Pringleton, we can make it orangier for sure. Uh, a no-fly list may not be bring you down, Clay, but it does quite literally keep you from going up. It absolutely does, man. It can't bring me down, but it sure won't lift me up. Are we getting a winner? Yes, we are, Manjeet. Every day, we are one day closer to the mother of all short squeezes. Mr. Anything says, Mr. Anything Tech says, Oh, thank Lord you're back. That break seemed to take forever. Dude, I thought the break went extremely fast, man. I did. I did. I, I ate a little bit, and then my dad came over for like an hour and a half, and then boom. Actually, about an hour and 15 minutes, I guess. Boom. And break's over with. I thought it went extremely fast. M. James! Keith here. Hey, Clay. What's up, Keith? How you doing? How do we know a squeeze is happening? Monsoor, you're going to know a squeeze is happening when the price is going absolutely through the roof and uh, shorts are being covered. You're not going to know in real time that shorts are being covered unless you trust Ortex's estimated data. That's the only way you're going to know that shorts are being covered real time. Uh, da, da, da. I had to hang out with other YouTube streamers while you were gone, Clay. It was terrible. Oh, man. I was going to hang out with some other ones, but then my dad came over, so I was like, well, we can either sit here and listen to them, or I can sit here and talk to you, so I chose to talk to him. I'm back. Marine Corps Brat is back. What's going on? How are you today? WTF is going on with the chat. Was updating. Uh, no idea, but, uh, dude, you're here now. That's all that matters, crypto. Hey, Johnston, Johnson Investments, LLC. How you doing, man? Clay, you hear a lot of you hear a lot that shorties are in trouble or they are trapped. The shorties' average entry is around 46 USD, so they are not in trouble yet. Aren't we counting on their stupidity too much? Haley plays. I wouldn't call it stupidity. I would call it more or less arrogance because I don't think that they're stupid at all. I think they're very intelligent, but I believe that they are are. are see, they believe that we're gonna give up, and. If we do, sure, they win. But I really don't believe that we're going to give up. I really don't. 
Yes, their average short position may be around $46 per share, but, okay, but they closed out a lot of losses on the way up to get there. So to say that that $46, like they're profitable on all the positions they've had on AMC, that's, that's a myth, okay? That might be something they want you to look at and think, oh, well, they are doing better than we thought because their average position is at 46. But they closed out a lot of losses on the way up that they booked, they've recognized, they've written those losses down, and, uh, yeah, they did lose that money. Like, that money has been booked as a loss for them. So now it just looks a little better for them knowing that their current open position is around that level. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Natalie. Happy birthday to you. Good to have you back, Natalie. War of the Planet of the Apes, strong together. Yes, Corey, we are definitely stronger together, my man. Hope we finish at 45. That'd be nice. Olivia, if we finish at 45, I'll be very happy. Slightly above 45, I will be even happier. But at least we've got this decent level of orange support on the chart right here. And uh, that's your five-minute bar. Let's look at a one-minute graph right now. Move this a little bit closer so that we can see that uh, it's a nice big orange line. And then bounce off of it and retest that 45 resistance that has been there all day long. Uh, part one, at the end of the big short, there's a quote saying that he thinks Wall Street wasn't dumb or arrogant. That they just knew the government wouldn't let them fall and fail and bail them out. Part two, I think the situation is the same. So they figure, why not short and make it short till either win or it's too big and they get bailed out. Sam, yeah. Yeah, so the the difference though would be hedge funds versus banks. Hedge funds are bigger than the banks, or hedge funds banks are bigger than the hedge funds, and the banks are the ones lending out to the hedge funds. Therefore, the banks are going to be the one margin calling them back. And uh, uh, the banks uh, on this play, they would really only be gaining off of the borrow rate. The hedge funds are the ones taking the risk by going out there and shorting. The, the banks don't want to lose that money. So sure, man, they might have the same mentality that like if they do lose out, the government will just bail them out. But I I don't know. They're not standing to gain. The hedge funds are the ones standing to gain that are shorting AMC and watching this thing run up. It's not the banks that would be getting off that. So that would be the only difference that I would see because in 2008, the banks were... We're, we're making all of that money by signing these loans into existence. And it didn't matter what the interest rate was. It didn't matter the income of the people. It didn't matter anything underlying that loan. It didn't matter. They were just signing all these loans because they were printing paychecks for themselves. And that would be the major difference is they had something to gain, whereas this one, they don't have as much skin in the game, and they're not going to gain as much. Nick FES usually have multiple tabs open. Good deal. Uh, you get your coin yet? I don't know what coin we're talking about out there. Will banks take our money after the squeeze? What do you mean will they take our money? Like, are they going to keep it for themselves? Or are they going to accept our squeeze money? Yeah, dude, this ain't going to be blood money. It's going to be good. Click. Don't blow up your channel so much that your chat has 10,000 people commenting you so you lose the close-knit community you have established. Super, Steven. I'm telling you right now, dude, I will never lose the community I've established. Because, I, I, listen, dude. When you've got 10,000 people commenting on the videos, 90% of it is, I don't know, emojis or ha 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 ha, I farted or ha 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 ha, something dumb, right? And then you can just like scan through that and not read it and you can see when, when people are actually asking a question and so on. So yeah, it's a little bit more difficult, but I'm definitely not going to lose the... The community that we've got here, because guys, you're the absolute reason that we're <laughs> having so much fun every single day. Ask for too big to fill banks and fail banks and Federal Reserve prints money. You can find them under FedEx in the biz section. <laughs> very nice, Corey. Very nice. Appreciate you, blow, or bro. Do you know what has to be bought back first? Synthetic or short shares? 2% of apes have verified shares prior to the conference call, and there is a 99% of a 1 to 5, 1.5 to 4.5 billion. So, Kevin, I don't think that there's going to be that many shares, right? I don't think there's going to be that many shares. Synthetics are constantly being bought back and made right. True synthetic shares are created from fail to delivers, and then those fail to delivers have to be rectified. So, yes, they will be, they will be fixed. Now... If it turns out that there's these billions of shares, 
it's going to be a mess, dude. It's going to be a mess. Everything's going to be covered at once. With if there's if there is or if there are four billion synthetic shares out there, it, it, they're all going to be covered. It, it's just going to be game over for everybody that's got short positions in AMC. It's the one, the only Clay Bro in the house, baby. What's going on, DSA Sports? How you doing, Clay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't support appear to be at forty three fifty. Uh, let's see here. Where's my orange line at? Yes, so around 43.50, man, around this orange line, somewhere in that area, there's definitely some support in there for today, at least. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> I don't, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Brett, for addressing that question, I appreciate that, man. I took a 200 of my initial profit Friday and promised to put it back in on Monday. I ended up buying a total of 938.45 today. Let's go! Very nice, Darius. Be careful spamming, man, people are going to, uh... People don't like when you spam, but very nice, dude. I like the fact that you got in there. Awesome. Thanks for the answer, Clay. Absolutely, Kevin, man. No problem with that. Okay, wait. I thought that hedge funds might not even know that their shares are nude or not nude, so wouldn't it make them... Here's the deal, man. Here's the deal. So, I, I know you, you're probably listening to Matt Kors' channel, right? That Those shares still have to be fixed. So, if a hedge fund or somebody goes out and shorts that share... And they don't go out and borrow the shares to complete that transaction. That transaction will be completed one way or another. Whether it's the, the broker finding those shares or the hedge fund finding those shares, those shares are found and they are rectified. So whoever it falls on that's creating these fake shares, the, the, the fact that so the, the nude share is created when I short a stock to you, but I don't borrow it off Nick F first, and then I say, okay, yeah, sure, you can have it. You give me the money, and I never give you the share. That gets marked as an FTD, and it should be on the hedge funds, on the hedge fund to go out and borrow that share because they're the ones that are going to be responsible for it. So if they if they weren't, if that didn't fall back onto the hedge fund, then they would just be collecting profit with no obligation whatsoever. Mr. Oh my goodness, Grandpa Barney. Thank you for the super chat. Grandpa Barney says, Grandpa Barney has a question, Clay. Tell me what the float means. Love you, my boy. Good day. So free float versus shares outstanding. There's just a slight difference. And it's always, in my opinion, a little bit better just to look at the total shares outstanding. Free float would be like anything that doesn't have the shares locked up. So it, I don't know if it's as good as an example on AMC. But you know how Adam Aaron, and maybe you do or don't, but we know how Adam Aaron was talking about potentially getting it locked up so executives are not allowed to trade their stock or are not allowed to sell their stock until it like exceeds seven years of their salary or until they've had their shares for seven years or whatever. Those shares are locked up. So they wouldn't be in the free float, but they would still be in shares outstanding. So typically there isn't a huge difference in the two numbers, but the free float doesn't include numbers that aren't freely floating out there they're they're locked up for one reason or another thank you mods you guys and gals are awesome thank you very much cassie the mods are amazing in here you better give me my shares that's what i'm talking about man definitely give people their shares okay so now i guess my confusion is what makes you say that it's banks fighting hedge funds and how this is different than before i get most of my knowledge from matt Coors and matthew perry so yeah yeah no problem dude no problem so the the hedge funds are definitely going to be the ones that are shorting now you can consider some of them banks as well if you want because they do loan out and have very similar transactions as the other ones but when you're talking about hedge funds you're looking at places like citadel and you're looking at some of these other hedge funds that are out there actively shorting AMC. We use Citadel as one of the prime examples, right? Citadel wouldn't necessarily be a bank, but they're getting their margin from somewhere. So Citadel has roughly, I believe it's $40 billion uh, of capital that they've raised from clients. However, they have a $400 billion portfolio. So they go out, they've got leverage, roughly a 10x leverage on their on their positions or on their assets that they have. So they're able to trade 400 billion, even though they're only investing 40 mil or 40 billion of their clients' money. So knowing that they're getting all of these loans from the banks out there that allows them to trade on roughly a 10x leverage, as soon as the banks feel like their money's at risk, they're the ones that are going to margin call 
in this case Citadel or whatever hedge fund you're talking about and say no 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 you're not gonna risk our money anymore you've already lost your clients money you're not losing our money as well and then they're gonna say it's time to give it's time to liquidate your assets and, uh, and give us our money back because you're not gonna touch our money we don't care if you lose your clients money but you're absolutely not gonna lose our money and they're just and they're willing to loan them that money out man because they're getting a percentage cut of it they're not getting it's not like they're out there investing the bank's money and so on to take advantage of that leverage uh followed by a 60 day timeout in jail don't know what we're talking about at this point but i don't want to go to jail for 60 days and i hope nobody else does either just watch the worst youtube amc holders bashing on each other in their channels almost deleted youtube i'll stick around for your channel apes fighting apes it was horrible absolutely horrible riptide redemption man if you want a model to live by you gotta think about thumper dude when thumper's hanging out with bambi and he gives him that life advice that is going to stick with each and every one of us for the rest of our lives. If you don't have anything nice to say, what do you do? You don't say anything at all, all right? We know that. And sure, there are some people out there that I don't have anything nice to... I mean, I try to find something nice to say, right? It might be like a, like a sidestep nice comment or something. But if I don't have anything nice to say, I'm not going to say anything at all. Unless it's just like, okay, well, that person's got some decent hair. Or you can tell that they use conditioner because that guy's got some nice hair. His AMC content? Uh, I don't know. But at least he has nice hair and uh, sometimes he wears nice shirts. Things like that. Okay, so how historically did it play out before that was different? It wasn't it much of the bank's money. It w wasn't it still the bank's money then? Uh, sorry for diving into this one. No, dude, you're good. So, so basically before, if you're talking about 2008 and like that whole crisis back then, that did get a little tricky, right? Because the banks were underwriting all of those assets, but then they sold them off and they were being traded as commodities. And that's where that whole thing started is because everybody was trading worthless mortgages. I mean, you go out and you give somebody a, a mortgage loan who is never going to pay it. And it, uh, it's almost guaranteed to get defaulted on. And they were just bundling and, and cutting and rebundling and cutting. And by the end of it, nobody even knew what they were owning. And nobody even knew, you know, what the underlying asset that they were trading was because all of these mortgages were sliced and repackaged and sliced and repackaged and so on. And then at that point, the, the fact that nobody knew what was going on just led them to believe and, and led the short sellers in that case mm -hmm. to believe that yeah the housing market's going to collapse because it's just it, it's so nobody has any idea what's going on anymore uh Haley Blake thank you Clay for sharing your knowledge thank you Haley for sharing your super chat and hanging out with us we appreciate that very much and absolutely guys absolutely I will share my knowledge I will share my smile and I will share the best advice ever that I got directly from Thumper. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That is the key for this afternoon live stream. Thumper. All day. Clay bro, hello. Denny Oliver, man. What's going on? Your hair is average. I know, dude. If you guys want to short somebody's hair, make sure to short my hair. Okay, guys, silence. Did it even do anything? This dude's yelling silence, and I don't even think my phone made it noise. But since Nick F's yelling silence, guess what we're going to do, guys? We're going to silence the phone because... Shoot, man, the last thing we need to do is get yelled at by Nick F. That is just not a good thing to have happen. I'm telling you that right now. Good afternoon, uh, Miller Realty. How are you doing? Clay, I will share his hair. Just ask and DM your address. Or Clay will share his hair. Just ask and DM your address. Yes, if you guys listen. But I, I can run my hands through it. A couple hairs might fall out, and I will attach them to any sticker packs that you guys buy. So if you guys want a, a lock of my hair, or at least one strand of my hair to do some weird stuff with, more power to you. Just buy a sticker off clibro.com. I wanted to take a moment to say that you are much more than animal poop, unicorn cosplay, and sexy coffee cups. Sam Blow, man. Thank you for that. But, uh, shoot, man, I feel like those are my best qualities. So even though I'm much more, those are by far... The, the front runners in what I am. So thank you, man. I appreciate that. AMC and AQSD. Buy and hold. Then repeat. Very nice. Trace Subway Cup. I read the big short three times looking for similarities to counter the typical uh, they would never let it get this bad kind of debate with AMC. So I appreciate you humoring me. I appreciate you humoring me and asking me some good questions, man. Clippers looking more and more like a Backstreet Boy. You are. Uh... 
my fire, the one antics desire, believe in AMC. Hello all, Lisa, what's going on, Lisa, how you doing? I've been seeing Clay's ugly brown brick house with the old TV antenna and boring backyard. Oh no, man, that backyard is not boring, come on. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Nick F. Holding on the way up, 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 up. Irrelevant. Very nice. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. You guys don't even say that. There's not even that many highs that come across for me in the chat. How are we all saying hi to Lisa, but we don't even say hi to Clay Rowe? Come on now. I knew it would happen one day. I knew it would happen one day that Lisa would take over. Clay, after hearing you sing, I take back my invitation to karaoke post squeeze. Just kidding you, my boy. Good deal, man. Backstreet Boys and uh, Britney Spears. That's where it's at. We can get those two songs on karaoke, on repeat. Hi, Clay, bro. Oh, thank you, Nick F. Thank you, Marine Corps brat. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. That wasn't an invitation to serenade. What is you doing? Yes, it was, Antics. Yes, it was, man. If you're going to sit there and call me a Backstreet Boy, I will serenade you just like a Backstreet Boy. Who is Clay? Diddy214. I have no idea. Clay, what's the spark to get shorts to cover? It will be pure FOMO. It seems like the shorts won't consider covering unless it's 70 plus a ship. Super Steven, I don't even know if they're going to consider covering if it's 70 plus a share, right? It's always nice to have a run up in this stock. I believe we're going to get a run up when we break through resistance and all of the day traders out there who are unwilling to buy and hold AMC will buy AMC because of a technical breakout. So we're going to have them coming on. When we do start to hit new highs, yeah, we will absolutely have FOMO buyers jumping back in. Now, will that cause the shorts to cover? I don't know. In my opinion, the best thing to have shorts to cover, the best thing that's going to make shorts to cover is the fact that they can't get a hold of the stock. That's going to be low volume. It's confirmation that they can't get a hold of the stock. Now, whether or not that ever takes place, I don't know. So the next best thing would be a high price. However we get the high price, FOMO, retail, uh, swing traders, algorithms, whatever you guys want to blame it on. Uh, high price, in my opinion, is, is one of the second best things to happen. You think BBIG is a short squeeze? Detroit, man, I don't know the the short interest on BBIG. I don't. If it's got a high short interest out there, it's very likely a short squeeze. Uh, I'm one of them rare birds that prefers takeout over a home-cooked meal. Oh, no! Dude, you haven't rocked it. That's because you haven't had my home-cooked meal. Come on, now. You know it. Uh, Lisa says, hey, Brett, with a little dab on it. Very nice. Margin calls. I bought AMC and more crypto. Very nice. Neo Wolf. I like it. Margin calls. Yeah. So margin calls are what we're looking for. Irrelevant. And I believe two of the ways that we're really going to get there are... Extremely low volume, extremely high prices. Those two things could directly relate to a margin call and directly uh, uh, result in a margin call is the word that I was looking for there. Hey, bro. What's up, John Connolly? How you doing, Rocket? If you don't like my cooking, you can just tell me privately. Yes, Rocket puts you on blast in front of the entire world to see. Clay, serious point. Do you discuss needing the volume down for the squeeze, but why is GME not squeezing with so little volume? Three million today if you're... It, Today, if you're curious, uh, yes, GameStop does have a lot lower volume, but GameStop also has a lot less shares outstanding than than AMC does. So that would be that would be a big difference there. Also, you know, GameStop does have a higher price, so you're more likely to see lower volume on that with less people being able to trade it. But AMC does have many more shares outstanding than GameStop does. Once the short squeeze happens, do you and you get out? When do you get out? Nathaniel, you got to get out. And at $5 a share, very nice. I'm glad you're in at $5 a share. You got to decide for yourself right now what life-changing money means to you. Realistically, think about stuff like your debt. Think about your goals. Do you want to continue working and have supplemental income? Do you want to pay off a house? Do you want to just continue renting for the rest of your life? And man, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you know, your life-changing money needs to be a billion dollars so that you never have to generate another penny of income the rest of your life. You don't have to reinvest any of your AMC gains. You can go out and buy 40 or 50 Lamborghini dealerships if you want. Like, come on, man. That's not life-changing money. That's just crazy money. So think about what would actually change your life for the better at this point and decide. Is that realistic based on how many shares you have? And, and go from there. If not, you kind of kind of tweak it and then decide, well, maybe the price could go higher than I originally thought. Or maybe I need a couple more shares than I originally thought I needed. Or, you know, maybe I need to set my sights on, on a different goal. If I don't want to own 50 Lamborghini dealerships, maybe I only want to pay off my mortgage and, and generate $10,000 
uh, uh, you know, every couple months when AMC gains and, and post post squeeze gains that I can supplement my current income or replace my current income with. So these are the things you need to think about now. They're going to help you get to the actual life-changing money that everybody wants to see. Come on, guys. 175 likes. Only 70 likes. Boo! Smash the like button. Thank you very much, Lisa. I appreciate that. Yes, guys. Let's go. 100 likes right now. Became a double fisted ape today. Picked up my first GME shares and more AMC, of course. Very nice, Riptide. I love to see people. I should just go get a share of GameStop right now just to say I have one because I don't. But I don't want to load up heavy on GameStop. But I do feel like, all right, man, you know, I, I got to... You gotta buy part of the step, bro, if you're gonna be playing with the step, sis. You know what I'm saying? Are you filming YouTube content creator? Uh, full time. Yeah, yeah, Detroit. So I don't have to go into a, like, a 9 to 5 job or a 5 to 9 job or a first, second, third shift job or anything like that. So at this point, I'm hanging out with you guys. I'm investing and I'm, I'm having the time of my life right now. Finally, hit the like button. Come on, M. James. I figured you hit it before, man. As soon as you entered, you didn't even say hello before you clicked out of the live chat and then clicked that like button. Natalie says, let's see the dip and shove. Natalie, thank you very much. You've got the dog right here. Okay, it's a very nice dog. All right, very, very nice hot dog right here. All you got to do is dip that bad boy down and then you guys want to see it. You just take it. You just take it. You... <coughs> Thank you very much, Natalie. I appreciate the hot dog. I mean, the dip and shove hot dog, your technique. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you. I think about that technique very, more often than I should admit to. And uh, I like it, okay? I like it. So thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Natalie says, that hot dog is my birthday present. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me me and Natalie. Happy birthday to us. Yes, Natalie. Thank you very much. That was a good present. And uh, me thinking of the dip and shove was my birthday present for next year. So please do not send me anything for next year. Uh, every time you mention dip and shove, I've got my birthday present oh, uh, mm, for the next, like uh, my entire lifetime. Clay still works at Citadel. M. James, it is true. I still work at Citadel, but I can't tell you guys that or you'll get mad. Okay, if I tell you guys that I work at Citadel, some people start to get mad and they're like, no, 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 don't work at Citadel. And, and now I'm complete. Natalie, now I'm complete. Okay, uh, yeesh. you don't even know. Galactic Finance thinks once we get past 60, we will have a clear run to the all-time high. You agree. S Sydney. Yeah, I think it's going to be somewhere around 60. I think it's going to be so not 60 flat, right? I've got my range between 55 and 60 that I really need to see us break. But I, I'm more along his terms with that level of resistance we need to break than some people that are saying uh, 46 to $48 per share. I'm, I'm much closer to that 60 level. So as soon as we get through that range, $55, $60, and so on in there, we break that resistance, we're good to go. Happy birthday, Natalie. Britt says sing it one more time. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Natalie, happy birthday to you, oh my goodness Natalie, happy birthday, I hope yesterday was amazing for you, Ready is ready to burn Clay at the stake, but I stand up for you Clay, my bro, M. James, that's what I'm talking about, still, still, dude, I would rather, I don't know, like where's the, I would rather wear, like, I don't know, a, a big, Bloods hate Crips shirt walking through downtown Chicago or like uh, I'm a rich American through the favelas in Brazil or Rio de Janeiro or, or something then hang out in Reddit so uh, Reddit's a dangerous place dude Reddit's a dangerous place and I would rather do those dangerous things than uh, than hang out on Reddit so M. James you're a brave man and uh, dude I'm telling you I stay away from Reddit, dude. It's so dangerous there. What do you think about BBIG? Uh, I think BBIG was running today, man. What's it at right now, though? Seven, like lower sevens. Salt, salt shaker needs to be, be separate. Yes, the salt shaker does need to be separate. Clay, do you not give PB your price target where uh, you want to sell because you fear that your advice could cause a sell-off? Trey mentioned, not to mention. No, man, I want to see, and I honestly don't know where I'm going to sell off at this point, okay? I, it's I'm... I'm more along the lines of being okay with seeing how things are playing out. I really hope to see anything above a thousand, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna sit there and say, "Okay, boom, I sold." I may start laughing hysterically, but I'm not gonna say, "Boom, I sold." 
Uh, I said I'm not an OG enough to know why it is the internet hate you, Clay. Oh, dude, I don't even know, man. I don't even know, Sam. It's crazy. Or it is bad, man. Get off Reddit. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Reddit. Who is Reddit and why is he calling you a shill? Reddit. I don't know, man. That's what my mom says. Like, who is Reddit and why doesn't he like you? Brett says, let's see the salt shaker, dude. When you get a salt shaker, salt is good. So you get to pour a little bit out just for good luck, right? And then you throw it over your shoulder. But then salt tastes so good that you just have to take it and then you. Want like just get it <laughs> but then when you do that dude it always oh man i gotta do it closer to my mouth or something because it always gets in my eye thank you very much brett i appreciate that andrea perez thank you very much for the super chat i appreciate it if you did not put a chat in there that you want in there guys somebody make sure that i see andrea's message there i need to see it since he's got a, a big old super chat on there thank you very much for the support i appreciate that but if you forgot to send it or for some reason it didn't send, make sure to get it in the chat right now. And all these blue mods are definitely going to make sure I see it if I don't catch it. Brett, thank you very much for the hot dog again. Brett says, we need to see that dip and shove one more time, man. So you take this hot dog right here. You can take a bite out of you want. If it looks too big, just take a bite. One bite's going to be good. You dip it then, right? You just dip it down into the whatever dip you're dipping it into. Tilt the head back a little bit and then... You shove that hot dog in. Thank you very much, Brett. And Natalie says, we need to see the licking stick with the banana. So you got to peel the banana. Excellent. Big. I don't understand why my bananas are so big. You know, I don't understand. You peel that banana, head back. That's the key, guys. Head back a little bit. You lick it. And then <clears throat> you stick that banana in there. Yeah, you just do that. It's called the lick and stick technique. Works every time. Thank you very much, Natalie. I appreciate the banana. And I appreciate the hot dog and the salt shaker. Thank you guys very much. Rocky says, I want two dragons. Like in the movie Starsky and Hutch. <sighs> Dude, it has been so long since I've seen two dragons. I don't know what that's referring to. Somebody needs to help me on, on the two dragons thing because I don't want to disappoint Rocket with his super chat there. We need to make sure I know what this two dragon thing is. Somebody help me on that one because I do not know what we're referencing. And uh, yeah, we need to we, we need some help with this one. And Adrian Perez once more with another blank super chat. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. And uh, I don't know if you're just not typing anything with the super chats. If you aren't. I, I really appreciate the support. Absolutely. Thank you very much for it. And uh, if you are and you didn't get it out there again, please make sure to to get the, the chat out there so that I can see what you got going on. So let's see here. Two dragons, Starsky and Hutch. I got to see this. Clay, could you explain why the average cost? That, could you explain the average cost again? That guy said when we squeeze... When the squeeze calms, you will only care about how many shares, which I understand to a degree. Doesn't lower average mean more money? Yeah, so lower average would mean a higher percentage gain, okay? Lower average would mean a higher percentage gain. But if you've got 73 shares at, uh, oh, crap, would you say your average was? I forget what you said your average was, man. No, you said 38. You said your average was 38. So if you've got 73 shares at $38 per share, and and it runs up to a thousand bucks. Okay, great. You made what seventy three thousand dollars because you got seventy three shares times a thousand. If you average all the way up to a hundred dollars a share, but you end up having two hundred shares by the time it's all said and done, when you get to a thousand dollars a share, you're gonna have two hundred thousand dollars. So yeah. Uh, in the first case, your share, your average is 38. You go all the way up to a thousand dollars a share, which is going to be roughly a 3,000 percent gain. And if you have your average at 100 and you run up to a thousand dollars per share, your your percentage gain is going to be a thousand percent. But in the second case scenario, when you had more shares, you made more money because you had a hundred, you you had two hundred thousand dollars post squeeze. Whereas with the 73 shares, you only had 73,000 post squeeze. So that's the difference. Brett says, I want to see that unicorn, and where is Lauren to say gallop? Come on now. Dude, I don't even know if the unicorn horn is going to work as well because I cut my hair, man. I don't even know if it's going to work as well because, yeah, yeah it does. Come on, who are we kidding, man? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Brett. I appreciate the unicorn super sticker. Absolutely amazing, man. We gotta get rid of the uni unicorn horn for right now. We could bring it back later if you guys send some more unicorns, but that's a dangerous one. I, I didn't think about the unicorn horn when I cut my hair the other day. Adria wrote, Clay. Oh, no! Adria wrote, we gotta see. Clay, bro, the old ape just sent you a couple of bucks. Thanks for all you do. Adria, Adria, thank you very much for the super chats. I appreciate those. You guys are absolutely amazing with all the support. And uh, thank you very much. And, and just for a couple of bucks for all that I do. Thank you very much. I don't think I do very much, but uh, I, I always appreciate the support, guys. And Natalie says, I want to see that ice cream cone. Because I know the strawberry ice cream is among your favorite. So we got the ice cream cone. And you, what do you do? Just on a, on a nice... Guys, it's, it's still pretty warm out here in Ohio. And just... Just, oh man, ice cream, ice cream cones are good. They are like, this is a big one. This is a, mm, that was really good. Thank you very much, Natalie. I appreciate the ice cream super sticker, as well as all of the other unicorn and salt shaker and and hot dogs and bananas and all of the good super stickers that you guys sent. Thank you very much. More licking, please, Clay. Oh, the, just just. A, that was only for you. Only for you, Natalie. Only for you. Be realistic. 5000 maybe. 100000 We can't even pass $50. Definitely e-ticket. It's not going to be easy. Snow cones are better than ice cream. I do like snow cones. It's raining. Internet connection is poop. Sergeant Baloney, it happens, man. Rocket says, <laughs> What is it? What am I looking up? Double dragons? What was that thing? Two dragons? I feel like I'm gonna start Googling something here that's, that that could be slightly inappropriate. So I gotta see what what two dragons, Starskin Hutch. Okay, two dragons. I'm laughing so hard right now. Good deal, Rocket. As you should be, man. As you should be. All right, two dragons is what we need. Starsky and Hutch. Rocket. I cannot help it. Natalie, you shouldn't help it. Let me help it. Okay. Two dragons. Two dragons. Starsky and Hutch. Okay, we'll, we'll see what comes up there. Clay has puts on Clay has put on five pounds with all of Natalie's food. Ugandan toad, man. Ugandan toad. Uh, I may have. I don't know. Do I look a little heavier? I want to hurt Ken. E Rock, don't hurt Ken, man. It'll be okay. Tax info of Estopedia. Thank you very much. Clay is not a tax professional. I am definitely not a tax professional. I appreciate the the link to Investopedia out there, M James. This guy's comments wants to get to 50, 100, 200, 500 from the night to the morning. Uh, dude, I would love to go from $50 to $500 from overnight as well. M James, that link is not good, man. They don't okay. Uh, I don't know if that's a good link or not, but yeah, either way, man, at least you're going to have some knowledge. Investopedia is a good site. How does that Astro guy have thousands of views in his live? Uh, Mick slip on my nipple. Uh, maybe because he plays some music or something. I think that might be it. Or they like his hair. I know that guy's got some long hair. I think it's got to be one of those two things. Or the fact, I either that, or they just really like it when when the live streams are more like this. For some reason, I think people really like it when this is how the live stream looks because, you know, putting a chart on here is just a lot more professional and it's a lot more entertaining. So when you when you when when the live stream looks like this, it works out better. So if you're going to be listening to it at work with your phone on the desk, it's just acceptable to have things going like this when, uh, you know, in all reality, dude, come on now. Can't see the guy talking. Who wants to listen? Nobody. Save the shorts till the end of day. Save the shorts till the end of day. I will do it. AMC is finishing badly today. Nah, dude, we're going to have a balance. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Don't worry. The only link we know we need here is the one to help us find sexy guys and gals on their webcams. I firmly believe that they're out there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They might be. And uh, hot webcam boys and girls, uh, if you're in here, if that bot is in here right now, make sure to post a couple exclamation points so we know what's going on. Clay, do you, experience, do you have experience with 401k accounts? I hear you withdraw money, but you don't but don't have to pay taxes if you reinvest it, but have to pay money back to your account. How does that work? Yeah, so I've never taken out a loan on my 401k, but if you were to loan yourself, like it is your money, right? If you were to loan yourself money from your 401k, 
you would essentially be paying yourself interest. And I believe it's the prime interest rate plus 1% or something that you have to pay yourself back. But you have to pay yourself regular payments and it goes back into your account. But keep in mind, man, they, they professionals don't recommend doing that because the gains that you would essentially experience in your 401k account would be better than whatever gains you're going to experience outside of your 401k account or or whatever you're using the money for. So if you're going to go out and you're going to buy yourself a nice boat with your 401k and you're paying that, I mean, think about that. You're going to be earning some decent income on your 401k, so they wouldn't recommend that. Or if you lose your job, then you're out of luck and, and so on and so forth because you got to go pay that loan back and you could just add to your stress, but that's the the idea behind loaning yourself money instead of taking that loan from somebody else. Uh, exactly, Natalie. But I didn't see what Brett had to say up there. But you are you are right. We're gonna have a lot of problems post Moas because we're gonna have to pay a lot of taxes. Those are the problems you're talking about, right? Uh, 401k. You guys are investing? Definitely not. None of us invest here. Class, stream four to five hours a day at work, and I'm productive a solid three hours a day. Good deal, JB. Good deal, man. That's like the best. If you're productive three hours a day, come on. You know you guys, even if you weren't listening to me, you know you wouldn't be productive three hours a day at work anyway. Like, you just know you wouldn't. So it's better to stream me and actually have some fun and learn something than it is to, uh, I don't know, scroll through Instagram or watch TikTok videos or whatever else you're doing. It's just, it's better to be here, man. 401k is I8, so it's more like a 401, okay. Good velocity, I like it. Uh, but sell Mo Booty, get Mo Booty. It, yeah, that might be true, Brett, that might be true. Uh, I took 20000 from my annuity and made 110000 on AMC e-ticket. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. I use my AMC call option sendies to fix my eyes with LASIK AMC changing lives out here already. McSlipple. If that's true, man, that is awesome. I love that, dude. I love that. Guys, hire a tax professional. In the meantime, become familiar with taxes. Thank you very much for the wording on that link there. I appreciate that. And, uh... Yes, in the meantime, learn a little bit, but in the, I don't know, post-squeeze time, you could definitely hire a tax professional, which, I don't know, if you've got some serious money that you got to be worried about paying taxes on, yeah, maybe you should, you should have somebody do your taxes for you, but, uh, hey, you know, it's your money, your decision. I'm ready to take money out of AMC and put it into crypto. E-Rock, man. Listen, if you can't hold all the AMC that you currently hold and be happy doing it, I don't have a problem with you guys putting money back into crypto. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, man. Rocket, man. This one's you, dude. This one's you. I got you on the got you on the call right now. And uh <sighs> I think that's what you wanted, dude. I do remember that scene now. I'm hopefully you were listening. I'm hopeful that you were listening to that and you saw that. That was your two dragons right there. Oh, that was only one dragon though, right? Because I uh, I've only got one dragon here, but that was your dragon from Starsky and Hutch, and uh, it's, it's like the best I got from the gif that popped up there. So hopefully that was good. <laughs> Did man, you thought I left you hanging on that super? Death. I don't leave anybody hanging on a super. Come on now, and Kelby, dude. The very first super thanks that I've ever gotten, uh, Kelby sent that. So, Kelby, definitely still best friends. Thank you very much. I did not see it come across in the comments on one of the videos, but you did send one of those super thanks, uh, and uh, you, were, you were the first person to ever do so. So I want to say thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. And, Kelby, if you're listening right now, absolutely. I'm sorry I didn't say thank you in the comments because I didn't see it. But I went through and I saw it today, and I gotta say thank you right now. There's definitely a sending level of support in my pants after that dragon action. Oh yeah, Sam, we had that dragon action, that that two dragon action going on there. Hey, they can't attest, they can't arrest it. What? They can't arrest it all of us, can they? No, definitely not, Neil Wolf. Never. Uh, the, 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 let's see here. Wow. Yeah, J Kong, you liked it too, didn't you, man? And thanks for the good time, Dollface. All right, WTF. Ugandan, man. I know you like that two dragon deal. I think people are selling the stock. People probably are selling the stock. It's not good. They shouldn't do it. Team Astro, very sincere. Sam is. 
Uh, savvy, savvy, what now? Very sincere, Sam is. Don't see what you say. Do you drink lattes? Like, no, I actually don't ever drink lattes, dude. I just drink black coffee. Like, that's what I got here. Just some, just some coffee. That's it, right there. Hopefully, I don't want to pour it out, though. Destroy the darkness! Welcome to the bro. Destroy the darkness. Thank you very much for keeping that membership. I don't know if you upgraded to a bro or if you just kept it at a bro and you're in here and it says that. But thank you very much, man. Look, my, my dude's got the level 3 astronaut on there right now. Thank you very much, Destroy the Darkness. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Destroy the Darkness. Absolutely. We got that double dragon. Billy and Jimmy, man. Billy and Jimmy. My brother, if you're listening right now, I call Jimmy. You can have Billy. He drinks black coffee. Yeah, I drink black coffee a latte, though. I drink it a latte, though. Not I, like a lot. Play on words. Thank you, Natalie. I do drink black coffee a latte. DDD, welcome back. Oh, that's a lot easier. DDD, DDT, DTD, DTD. Thank you very much, man, for coming back. Someone say I'm sincere. They did, man. They did. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Anytime that name comes up there, you guys already know what's going to happen. There should have been 213 welcomes. But I know some of you guys out there, you just stay a little quiet. I don't know if you're afraid to talk, if you haven't figured out how to type in the in the chat yet. But one day, one day you will. I know you will. I'm, I'm going to recognize all the names that hang out in here. Of course I'm here listening, best friends. Yes, Kelby, that's what I'm talking about. And thank you, man. I, I, I didn't see the super chat or, or the super thanks earlier or whatever it's called. But I, I did want to say thanks because I never want to miss anything super. There's some good stuff. Oh, but the good stuff comes from people like Clay. The basics on why this stock will squeeze 95% of the DED on Reddit is dangerous. That's why it's called dangerous diligence, man. Anything on Reddit is dangerous diligence, for sure. Welcome, Destroy the Darkness. Cassie, thank you very much for saying welcome, Destroy the Darkness. Welcome, Destroy the Darkness. Yes, well, that is our goal here, is destroying all of the darkness. Afternoon, y'all. What's going on, Jaybird? Oh, welcome to the dark side of the moon. Mad Medic, thank you. Brett, keeping their numbers in his phone eight months later, sending her drunk. What you doing, text at 2 a.m.? Isn't that what everybody does? Natalie, isn't that what they all do? Natalie, nine dollar nine dollar popcorn and chill. Dude, I make my own pop you gotta just make your own popcorn. You, you can't go buy a nine dollar popcorn now. Come on. If you're afraid to talk, I just want you to know we love you and we'll be here when you're ready. We absolutely will. Take your time and like my brother, you can come out when you're ready. <laughs> yes. When you guys Want to uh, finally send a little hello? How you doing? Hi, Clay. What's going on, everybody? Well, whatever the first message you want to say is, we will be here to welcome it. Wide open arms. In the meantime, share the live stream with somebody. Maybe they'll talk. Hey, just share the live stream. I know you guys have somebody that you text message. I know you have someone that you message. Okay, there's nobody in here that doesn't ever message anybody. I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's a coworker. I don't care if it's a family member. I don't care if it's just like, I don't know, your therapist, whatever. Just share the message or just share the live stream with them right now. Don't even say anything and see if they click in here. And then they'll say why. And then I'll shout them out. Simple as that. And then you'll be the hero for the day. I say do it. Finishing 43 or 40, oh, plus or minus 43. Plus 43, man, for sure. Over 43, over 43 all afternoon long. We're going to run up back to the orange line. We're going to run up back to the orange line. M. James, something. I missed it. I'm watching you like a hawk and just hoping that someone's first message is just a weird one-word message like Dingleberry. And then, boom, they go dark again. They may, Sam. They may. And a lot of the messages, you know, I don't know. I recognize some of the names. Some of you guys don't talk as often as others. But new names, I kind of recognize new names. You know what I mean? 4367, baby. Let's go, Scott. 4313 is my prediction. Let's see it, 1111, Simon. What happened? No big deal. Holding 100%. Hey, man, we fell off a little bit towards the afternoon. But we're still up 5.5% on the day. Excellent gain for the day. $45 proved to be too much of a level of resistance, and we bounced off of it. 50 after hours. Claude is calling it right now. I sure hope so. 4313, your prediction. We know it. Hello, everyone watching from Arizona. Low V watching from Ohio. Oh, wait. Am I, does it count as me watching right now? Because technically, I am. 
Shares the live stream link with a few crips and bloods downtown and down in LA. Should get interesting in here. Johnston Town, yes, it should. You know what? That's the ultimate test, man. That's the ultimate test. That's like you're, you're bringing in a bunch of the, the shills and the apes together, and then somehow, some way, in this live stream, we all become friends. If you live in the Compton area, downtown LA, Chicago, yeah, go ahead, share the live stream with a few bloods, a few crips, and uh, let's make everybody become friends. I say that's the way to go, and that's what that's the final result in here. Anthony said, there you go, Anthony. Anthony says Dingleberry, and then he's going to go dark again. Sam, there's your man right there. I need money. Brad, we're going to get that money. 50 by the end of the week, Super Steven. Yeah, I think we could get 50 by the end of the week, especially if we break that 48 level. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, don't be mad, but I'm looking for people. Yes, nobody be mad about anything. Everybody's allowed to do good. And I do like, uh, I do like Investopedia. I like the fact that they've got... Very good definitions on everything. You can get lost in there, learn a lot, and and yeah, man, if you need to hire a professional, hire a professional. If you don't, at least get to, you gotta know what you're doing. Uh, let's see here. Would love to see the last ten minutes skyrocket, Marine Corps Brett. Me too. That's what I want to see right now. We got nine minutes left. Let's watch this thing go back up to forty-five. That would be a skyrocket to me. That's what I want to see. I think after the market will be slow, but pre-market will take off. Finish August with a bang. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. If we break 48 tomorrow, I'm going to be happy with that. So I'd be good with that too. Urban Dictionary is where I get most of my definitions. Sam, that is why you were so quick, man. If I spent some more time on Urban Dictionary, I would be doing much better. Do they still exist? Bloods and Crips? Nah. They smartphones watching movies all day. <laughs> God. They might be, man. They might be. And if they hang out in here... They're going to be happier. We know they will. Yeah, Urban Dictionary is legit. It is, M. James. If you hang out on Urban Dictionary, you're going to be doing very well in life. You're going to know a lot more than I do. I'm the guy that doesn't hang out on Urban Dictionary, and then I got to come in front of it, uh, like, come on here in front of all my friends and say, oh, hey, guys, what does, uh, what does that mean? Somebody tell me what, what that means because I have no idea. No, Ronald, we can't. I didn't see what Ronald says. Can you see me? <laughs> no, Ronald, I cannot see you, but I can see your chat. I, don't worry that I can't see you. I can see your chat, though. Uh, just bought more. If Clay spends his night, if Clay spends his night on Urban Dictionary tomorrow's stream will feel will be in the fetal position. Yes, in the corner. That is the whole stream tomorrow, and it's just it's dangerous for me. I can't do it. That's why I gotta ask you guys. 4313, my prediction. Matter of fact, I am telling you, a close of 4313, I'm not predicting, and they call me Nostradamus for a reason. That ain't no guess. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, 4313, that ain't no guess. That's what it's going to be. I only read Urban Dictionary and Motley Fool. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I feel like Motley Fool doesn't read Urban Dictionary, though. They don't know anything, man. Motley Fool... Motley Fool always knows, like, five to ten other stocks that you should be buying instead of the stock that they write the article about. Simple as that. They write the article, but there's another five stocks that you should be invested in and not the one they wrote the article about. So it always makes you wonder why they wrote the article about that stock in the first place. 4363. All right, Ronald, let's get it. Smiley Fool is a fool. Cassie, yes. Bethany, don't retract your message. It's all right, Bethany. You can have a typo. You can just set it again. Yep, I felt it. I will be hiring a tax professional, but some people want some kind of info immediately. Yes, they do. Uh, more like the fecal position. This dude always getting pooped on. It's true, man. It's true. Anytime I hold an animal or a little bug, for some reason it's got to poop on me, and I don't know why. A botley stool. Good deal, Ronald. Uh, Jay liked that one. Uh, Jay did like that one, didn't he? The fool is sponsored by a Citadel. Fact. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Fact. I like Bethany's pretty brown snoot. What to know? Bethany's got a picture of a pretty bound spread on snoots. Oh, that is a nice little puppy on there. Yes, it is. Love the lava lamp. Far out. Scott, thank you very much. Lava lamp. I've had this bad boy for like, I don't know, what, 20 years? I feel like we go way back. Love another assignment. If you get it wrong, we'd be known as the... <laughs> Not Nostra... <laughs> Not knows the darn price. Yes, that is exactly what you will be known as. Uh, post post close today if, you're, if it's not 4313. But if it is 4313, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? I'm out of coffee. 
Darn, man. I wish I had more. I think Bethany was referred to your chat by Philip, so you can to make sure credit. Okay, yeah. Philip, thank you, man. Thank you for bringing Bethany in here. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Credit is due. I give it where credit is due. Absolutely. And of course, on Rebender News, again, his head must be so... Yeah, man, it might be. It might be. I don't know. Ah, oh, the holy bean water is no more. Sam, the holy bean water is no more, man. That was the last drop. Matt and Astro were a riot. Doc, what did they do? They interview each other, or what was going on with that there? Now my plans are, now my palms are sweating. It all comes down to this, 1111 Simon. It all comes down to this. I watch the news media because I know it's not true. I want to know what they are pushing to the uninformed public. Yeah, hey, hey man. And you know what? That that's I can't say it's always true that they're, you know, they're pushing fake stories or whatever, but it is better if you ask somebody who's actually involved with what's going on. Like if you've got the inside scoop, you're going to be a lot better than whatever story they want to push. Rocket is retracting messages again. You guys love to retract messages. Astro was streaming Matt's chat while they were roasting him. I swear apes are not united. Oh man, uh, dude, how you about to how you about to stream Matt's chat? Like, does he not care? Cause he can just get a monetization claim if, if Matt really wanted to do that to him. You can't just be going in there. I know that TMI has done it a few times to me, but TMI is not sitting there roasting me or whatever. I'm not sitting there roasting TMI. I like the dude. I like short to Vix. I don't know if he ever did it before. Matt Perry has also done it on here. I like it. Right? It's good. It's nice. They keep it they keep it good. But if you're gonna be like doing it in a in a bad light, that's just a little a little messed up. But also, with that being said, I mean I don't agree with all the fractals and all the stuff that he's got going on. So I, I don't think that the same patterns repeat each other over and over and over again. Clay, what up, homie? What's up, Droman? Quick, everyone react retract the message. Clay hates that. No, don't do it, M James. Don't do I read yours before you retracted it. Nice. What is Astro? It's like some far out outer space kind of type of thing. No, Brett, don't do it. Matt did say he didn't care, but it was some harmless fun. Well, there you go. Harmless fun is good. Nick F retracted. You guys are all retracting messages on me. I don't know why you got to do that. Retract messages. No, don't do it. Banter is all. Banter is good, but like if you're not being rude, <laughs> you guys. Now you're just typing retracted message and message rejected. Oh my gosh. What? I don't know, Lisa. I don't know what they're doing. It's crazy. Why are you guys doing this to me? Uh, I don't know what fractals means, but I agree. I don't think it holds water either. Oh, yeah, bro. We both think that. Good deal, man. Dude, fractals are basically like uh, like patterns that never end. So, uh, I don't know. A, a fractal is basically, a, like in a nutshell, a pattern that never ends. So, like, if AMC, it goes through a certain phase, it could, like, it starts its pattern. And then once that cycle is done... It does the exact same cycle again, like the exact same pattern again. And whether it does it over the same time frame is is all, it doesn't matter. It could do it over different time frames, but the same exact pattern is always repeated, is what a fractal would be. Is it like fracking? Yes, it's bad. It's like fracking, and it's, it's, it's contaminous. It'll contaminate everything around it. So if you start to believe in fracking, then... Uh, Sure, you can make some decent money, but your water supply is going to be polluted. It's a pattern that repeats itself within itself. Yes, Rosemary Fit. Thank you very much. Raheem, yes. Raheem said something. Please, someone guide me. Shall I continue holding AMC shares? There you go. GTA for life says Raheem, yes. Do you like my lips? Lipton's lips. Yes, I like your lips. Who wouldn't? Come on now. Message deleted. Oh, God, did. no, don't delete the message. A listening to Astro is like going to a never-ending high school party and not having a ride home. <laughs> it was early on in, in high school. You should have been driving by the time you were going to parties. Brett's retracting messages. Doc Airlines still retracting messages. M. James is going to retract a D. M. James, you retracting that D? I don't know what's going on here. Fracking causes sinkholes. There you go, Ronald. It's not good for everybody. I mean to say, you don't believe it is kind of silly because patterns are over, are the over and over. That's how any technical analysis forms. So naturally they will occur. But I agree, it's harder to see. 
Yeah, 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 Brett. But it's not necessarily like a, a fractal is kind of different than just technical analysis, right? Technical analysis, one, isn't never 100% guaranteed. Like some of the best technical analysis has a 70% hit rate. So keep that in mind. But like uh, these, this fractal talk is the same exact pattern being repeated over and over again, just on different scales. So it's, uh, yeah, man, I, I don't really, I don't fall into that. 43, 43 clay. Crypto Rockets here. Thank you for letting us know. 43, 43.33, right? Is that what that says right there? Yeah, 43.33 is what I got on the close right now. Oh, no, 11, 11, Simon off by 20 cents. No. <laughs> Sam is really hard listening to Astro. Man, I didn't see what Sam had to say. I like Astro. Comes from Tampa, Seven Pacific. Uh, I I think he's been on earlier than that, though, dude. Because I saw him. I've seen him on earlier than that. Forty-three, thirty-three, close clay. Yes, crypto rackets here. I see it. Ding, ding, ding. Forty-three, thirty-three. It could possibly settle, though. We could see it swing a couple cents either direction. I never knew we could F with Clay this much. Doc Airline. Yeah, everybody. Dude, what do you mean you didn't know that? Come on now. I'm like everybody's favorite person to mess with. So my ex dressing up like yourself uh, and sleeping with another man that was a fractal. That's what other YouTube boys think is happening. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, Sam. 100%, man. That's, uh, that's a bad pattern to have happen to you. I'm very sorry about that. Marky! Thank you for the super chat. Marky. Where was the message at, Marky? We need we need the message. Come on now. Thank you very much for the appreciate uh, the super chat. I appreciate that. Oh well, off by two cents. Come on, Adria. Come on. Off by two cents. Oh no. That was very close. Right? But I see people using it also miss side. Just assume there is something to take out of it. Yeah, man, possibly, but I just don't want anybody to ever get into the notion and this does happen man and this is the downfall of a lot of people when you start to think that you know what's going to happen next not that you you have an understanding of what could happen next but when you know what's going to happen next that's dude that's the downfall of everybody man as soon as you start to let that pride creep in maybe you maybe you were right once maybe you were right twice maybe you've been right 10 times in a row but once you let that, once you become prideful and you decide that you know what's going to happen, it's everybody's downfall, man. Marky, are you Mark Wahlberg? Definitely. That is Mark Wahlberg. I know. Good job, Clay. Thank you very much, Marky. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm just off, period. Claude, it is all right. Everybody's off every all the time. It is he keeps destroying resistance. The coin is simply as limited supply. I like it. And AMC, the most Neo Wolf. Very good. At least to recover 35 from last week's loss. Good deal. Jesus? Jesus? What's the name there? Not sure. Spacebound Universe. What's up, man? What's up? Thank you very much for the fist, fist bump. I like it. Prepare! Don't predict the holy grail preach last night. Thank you very much, Sam Blow. I appreciate that. If you guys missed the video from last night, make sure to go check it out. And uh, share it with somebody, you know. Stock twits. Share it on stock twits. Just blow stock twits up. If you if you don't want to share, like if you don't have any friends or family or coworkers or anything, and you can't share my live stream with them, share it on stock twits. That message disappears like after five seconds. You're just lost in the chat. But there might be somebody out there that sees it. So just do that. It's gonna be good. Eleven on Simon used to be known as Nostradamus. Now he should be shown known as No Knows the Darn Price. Oh no, eleven eleven Simon. She is holding you accountable. Oh. Off by 20 cents, and Natalie says, Rest in peace, my friend. I'll blow anything for you, Clay. Well, Sam, blow good deal, man. I say go blow it up on stock twits. Then, uh, like you said, nothing is for sure. I do see people getting sucked into the hype, which can be a problematic in the end. It happens when it happens 100%, Brett. 100%. And people don't like to hear that, though. You know, they don't like to hear, Well. It'll happen when it happens, or when everything falls into place, it, it'll it'll come true, or or it didn't happen today, but it could happen. Like they don't, they all want to know that it's going to happen tomorrow, and then it makes them feel better. And then if it doesn't happen tomorrow, they're like, okay, okay, it'll happen tomorrow, and so on. But yeah, it gets dangerous. Blitz from beyond click. You explain to me. We're told to hold and diamond gloves. So does that mean if people sell, they ruin for those that are holding or those who continue to hold will reap the benefits? Blissful and beyond. We got them diamond gloves on, man. Uh, listen, the theory behind holding, right, is just to make sure that the hedge funds do not 
cover their short positions. So if you're holding this stock, at some point you're going to have to sell. Okay, At some point you're going to have to sell to realize your profit. But one of two things happens when you sell the stock. One, you create selling pressure, and then you say, okay, well, AMC is only worth $43.33. No more because that's where the market's selling it at. The second thing that can happen is you sell it directly back to the hedge fund so they can cover their short positions. That is what we don't want to happen. So if we delay the squeeze by selling it to other, other retail investors or other apes, okay, we can live with that if you've got to sell AMC. But every time people click that sell button, those shares could be going directly back to the hedge funds uh, to cover the short positions. And as soon as the shorts are covered, the short squeeze play is over. So we don't get that chance once the short squeeze play is over. So that's why it's important to have what people call diamond hands. But uh, yeah, if you have to sell at some point or another, it doesn't mean that it ruins the squeeze unless everybody sells directly back to the hedge funds. I want free Tesla, the truck with bulletproof windows. It would be nice to have a truck with bulletproof windows. I don't know if it's necessary, but it would still be nice. Everyone says no dates. I say September 2nd. I had many dreams about the squeeze on that day. You heard it straight up. American. The rich. The rich Michael. Kolenic. Kolenic? Kolenic? Good deal, man. September 2nd. What day is September 2nd? Thursday? Clay, can you make a video telling how to sell, like legitimately how to physically do it, and then I'll share it with your mom? Yes, I can make a video. I may just send it to you and her, though, because that seems... Oh, man, I don't have any water. <sighs> Darn it, man. I don't have any water over here. That's a, that's a mistake. Elon Musk, uh, Clay, and I will take anything for free. Yes, Elon Musk, if you're in the chat right now, we will also take anything for free. I mean, it could be a keychain, dude. I don't even care at this point. Market closed. What's a short overall summary of today? Tested $45 resistance. Bounced off of it, couldn't pass through it, and uh, ended back down a little bit above $43 per share. 43, 45 proved to be too hard of resistance, so we bounced back off, and we'll test it again tomorrow. Very short summary of today. Look behind you. Lava water. There is lava water behind me. It's crazy. Clay, he in the chat. Did you not see him? I did not see him in the chat. Elon Musk. Yeah, man, if you're hanging out with us, make sure. Anything for free. We'll, be, we'll do it. I'll give my P.O. box later. Uh, I want to bring truck after the squeeze. That would be good to have a Brinks truck post-squeeze. I don't know if it's going to get a very good gas mileage, but sure. SEC chairman said Barron's banning payment of order flow is on the table. Well, shoot, man. If they ban payment of order flow, I hope they don't go back to commission. 11-11, Mr. Simon, thank you for the salt shaker. He says, guys, all you got to do is pour a little bit of salt out, right? Just pour a little bit of salt out on the ground and then throw that over your shoulder because it's good luck. But salt tastes so good that you have to just, like, you know, get your head back there and... <laughs> and keep, I don't know why I always open my eyes, but I keep my eyes open and it always gets in there. I should close my eyes when I do that. It's just so dangerous, man. Thank you very much, 1111 Simon. I appreciate the salt shaker, and I hope that all of you appreciate the salt shaker as well. You don't have water, but you have a salt shaker. Yes, that is true. I do need water, though. Hey, Elon Musk, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, become a bro, and we are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Yes, we are, Elon Musk. Make sure to click that subscribe button, because Babyface AMC Ape was the last person to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. If you want your name on the top of the screen, just click the subscribe button. It's that easy. That name's been up there for 18 minutes. Clay, living on the edge, getting that salt in his eye. I like it. It's dangerous, Natalie, but you, you know what? Man, I like salt, so you got to go with it. Sus. Preston says, sus. What's sus, man? Is that a new ticker symbol? Wow, SPRT got pushed down. Uh, missed it. We retracted. Sorry about that. Uh, but if the bandit on how will Vlad make his money? But if the bandit how will Vlad make his money? This could be terrible news for him and his company. How tragic. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I know, man. Terrible. However, I mean, if they're going to take away and go back to commission because... The brokers can't make money anymore on these on these uh, no commission trades because they don't have payment for order flow. I don't like the sound of that. I would rather have payment for order flow than full commission trades. I'll tell you that right now. 306 in here. How about a thumbs up? Ronald, thank you. Clay bro, love shaking like, shaking like a salt shaker. I do, man. I do. Sometimes I shake it like a Polaroid picture. Sometimes I shake it like a salt shaker. Either way, I'm bringing the... Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. I don't know if that wasn't in my intention, but 
It seems to be working like that. Wow, SPR got pushed down to $29 and pushed back up to $36 in power hour. Almost 40% up on the day. <laughs> Dude, anytime you can grab a 40% ga uh, gain in a day, that's very nice. Clay, chapstick, it's, uh, it's for a friend. Yeah, man, chapstick. A chapstick for a friend. That's, uh... I don't know why your chat, why your friend likes chapstick so much, but uh, you know, just put that chapstick on there. Press friend. Chapstick, chapstick commercial. If you want to sponsor the video, thank you very much. Uh, chapstick original. Go with it. Lip balm. Good deal. We've considered that there's plenty of ways to make money with zero commission and no payment for order flow. Uh, yeah, but if they, if they, dude, if they're not going to do it, like if they can't justify that, then I would rather see payment for order flow than commission. But if they're going to do it without commission, I, okay, great. Nice to have you kind of debate each other. You Not, not to have you kind of debate another YouTuber, but if payment for order flow really is a big deal as people seem to make it out to be, I feel like most of the time I can't even tell aside from my BS Doge fill. Yeah, dude, and I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and debate payment for order flow either, but uh, I don't have a problem with payment for order flow. Payment for order flow basically just says that the market maker can pay the broker a commission to route those orders through that market maker. Now, I believe people don't have a problem with that. I believe people have a problem with uh, market makers taking advantage of those orders and either not filling them at the best price possible or arbitraging or whatever the case may be. That would be the problem with payment for order flow. It's not how payment for order flow is, is structured or the actual usage of it it's the exploitation of payment for order flow that people have a problem with and uh i i don't know guys i i, I don't have a problem with it personally american xenio american xenio the real michael kalinic thank you very much for the super chat i appreciate that thanks for not shaming me for my prediction american xenio absolutely man listen you guys can guess whatever number you want and even like Simon, 1111 Mr. Simon, who was dead set on 4313 and was wrong. It's all right, guys. There's always tomorrow. It could, be third, it could be your prediction tomorrow. No problem with that. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Whoa, that's a knockoff. Don't use a chip. <laughs> no, it's chapstick, Brett. It's chapstick. Just because it was backwards. Hold and take money back from those in Wall Street from 2008. Easy to hold. Longevity make fantastic money to play psychological games. Don't get sucked in. Jason, we are not getting sucked in, man. We're going to be doing good. Clay, I hope you had an excellent day. I have had fidelity, and they don't charge me to purchase stock. John, very good, man. Uh, they can't increase the spreads and make money like that. Yeah, but uh, market makers are the ones that are out there charging the spread, or the ones that are filling that order are the ones charging the spread. So market makers... What could either make more money, but they're the ones paying the brokers to to uh, route those orders through. Well, off to me. Well, off to make me an extra dirty vodka martini, extra olives. Time to chill tomorrow to the moon. Let's do it, Adria. Thank you very much for the super chats today. I appreciate it. Tomorrow we will definitely be back tomorrow morning at eleven o'clock in the morning. Eastern time. I don't know where you live. And then, uh, yeah, make sure to check out the video tonight. Should be out around 8 p.m. if you guys, 8 p.m. Eastern time, if you guys want to watch that. We have $50 by the end of the week. Will you sing In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins in its entirety? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. It might be a little bad, but it's going to have to be with no music, dude, because I get hit on the music. And then I'm sure they're just not going to recognize me singing that. Because it'll be that bad. So I think that we can make something happen with that if we go 50. Clearly the kind of YouTuber that people's grandmothers would be happy with. Dude, I'm good with grandmas. What can I say? Grandma, if you want to watch the show too, listen, man. Grandmas like to have a little fun. You know grandmas like to have. Grandmas can like to. I think grandmas like to have a little bit more fun than we like to have sometimes. So, yeah, definitely. Invite your grandma to the stream right now. Invite her to the stream. Wholesome teaching kids and handsome. Well, thank you very much, Sam Blow. I appreciate that. What have you done with your hair? Fatima, I cut it, man. You like it or you don't like it? Do it, Clay. Joe, let's do it, man. 
Make sure you look out for the new Tesla Roadster in 2022. Elon Musk. We're going to make sure we look out for it, man. September 6th, new moon, it will hit. Faceman. Somebody said September 2nd. Matt, better than Clay. Matt Kors. Thank you very much. If you send me a Zoom link, we can do edit. Brett, that's, uh, I might just do that, like, we don't even have to hit 50. If, you're gonna, if you want to do a duet with me, I don't even know if we have to hit 50. Clay, please use a banana as a mic. Okay, thanks. Natalie, I currently do not have any bananas in my house at this moment. Otherwise, I would do anything for you. But uh, no bananas in the house right now. I'd have to get one of those. I'd have to go to the store. Ain't no fun if grandma get if grandma ain't no fun if grandma get get some. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's no fun if grandma ain't getting none. You gotta make sure grandma gets some, right? Natalie needs a zoom link too, not to join in, but we can sing it directly to her. Natalie can also have one and I will sing it directly to her and we can watch her react on the screen. Absolutely donkey's ears. Not good. Donkey's ears. Man, I swear, some of the stuff I miss, I know I miss it. There's, I just know I miss it. You have no idea, bro. I went to bingo night at the retirement home, and they were getting freaky. Wild. I, dude, I'm telling you, man. Grandparents like to have fun. No, no. Not to her. At her. Yes, we will be singing directly at her, Natalie. I think he meant if Grandma can't get some. Either way, Grandmas that get some are more fun. Right? AMC Trapper says... Don't slip on that. Oh, don't slip on that banana. Thank you very much, AMC Trapper. I appreciate the banana peel. Guys, banana peels are extremely slippery. You guys don't want to get hurt stepping on one of those things. Oh, my goodness. You got to watch out for those. Banana peel is slippery. That's uh, Mario Kart and uh, Billy Madison. O'Doyle Rules. O'Doyle Rules. Like Those are those are the two slipperiest bananas you're ever going to get. Thank you very much for the banana peel, AMC Trapper. I appreciate this super sticker. You guys are absolutely amazing, man. I'm telling you what. Finally understand why everyone's always yelling a, about a grandma squeeze. These old ladies are kinky. They are, man. And it happens. It's okay. After hours down 7 cents. Matt Kors, thank you very much for keeping us updated on the after hours price action of AMC. Down 8 cents right now. 0.18%. Oh, no. Watch out. Doyle, I have a feeling your entire family is going down. Yes. And, and it did. Grandmas have nothing to lose. They're like a two shorts. And we're getting... Uh, getting while the getting is good. Exactly. Exactly. Grandmas, they're just living their best life. Natalie, it's just, I can't wait till I reach grandpa status. I'm going to be living my best life for real. AMC and AQST till the end. A big moves coming. Pop squash. You and, uh, I believe it's Trade Trade Subway Cup would be great friends because Trade Trade Subway Cup is also on the AMC and AQST train. A Jogo Mofo with the YouTube logo. Thank you, Mofo. I have to get back to work now. Catch you later. Elon Musk, thanks for hanging out. And, uh, yeah, man, if you want to send me a keychain, send me a keychain. Villages in Florida is Grandma Land. I'm telling you, we got to go to Grandma Land, dude. Somebody want to go to the Villages in Florida with me? That sounds like a tight vacation. A Joe Galmopo, thank you very much for the smiley face. I appreciate that as well. You guys are destroying it. A steroid, bra. What's up, steroid, bra? Oh, man, it looks like we're going to have a very, very slow after hours today. Look at this blow. Look at this just tight channel we got going on right here. 32 to 25. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Do something, AMC. Sugar Mom Grandma's everywhere. Oh, surfy. We got to go down to this. We got to go down to the villages in Florida, find ourselves some Sugar Mom Grandma. What happened to the cricket? Steroid, bro. I don't know. I think he's outside somewhere. I haven't seen him. I let him outside the other day after he pooped on me, and uh, I haven't seen him since. So hopefully he's doing okay because uh, I have no idea. I don't know about your grandma, but mine openly cheated at cards and didn't even bother to hide the smirk. I'm telling you, Brett. I'm telling you. Grandmas are savages, man. That's just what they do. Any grandmas in the chat right now? You guys are savages. I love it. Uh, AMC all in. Let's go, Monkey Polka. All in on AMC, just like pre uh, Philip. Philip's retirement account is doing very well. Went all in on AMC at $37 per share. We're currently trading at $43.30 per share. This grandpa loves Florida. Very nice, Ronald. Grandpa loves Florida with all the grandmas down in Florida. All right. I bought a little bit of QST today. I'm holding it until the FDA date in December. Angel, very nice. When is the FDA date? I don't even know. 
what the FDA, what they got up for approval in December. My average 44, very nice monkey poker, 44 average on AMC, you are right there at your break even. I cheated Uno against my grandma when I was a kid and she went 10 years refusing to play with me because I was too good. And she confessed on her deathbed, she knew I was a cheater, had me shook. Dang, dude. That's intense, Sam. That's like some life-changing stuff right there. Thoughts on BBIG, Abish Ganesh Superman. Uh, my thoughts on BBIG, if you are already in, excellent. And, uh, look, man, I don't know. We touched $10 today. It bounced back down to, like, $7, so I don't know if the run's over with or if we're going to continue to watch it run or not. I, I really don't know too much about it. <laughs> Sergeant Maloney, my average is 14. Very nice. We basically have the same average. I'm, I'm 13. You embarrassed him on national platform, Clay. He is now suffering p from PTSD in a hole in your back t backyard. Dude. He didn't have to poop on my hand on national TV. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it, but I'm, clearly, I'm going to let him know that if he does, that's what's going to happen to him. Good day from Tasmania, Australia. Good day, mate. Joe Go Mofo. How are you? Australia. It is 6 a.m. in Australia. Is that correct, Mofo, or what? What do we got? Blood spreader, very good. Thank you for letting us know. Anybody else playing BBIG and M Matt's quick cash grab straight into AMC? It's early days. Uh, Dom, maybe. I, I do not have BBIG or M Matt. 11 11 Simon Chapstick! Hold it palm closed with no fingers. What? Chapstick, hold it palm closed with no fingers. I don't even know what that means, man. Hold it palm closed. Like that? What are you talking? I don't even know. Hold it palm closed with no fingers. Like, what do you. I don't understand how you do that. Like this? I don't even understand what that means. Is this bad? I don't even know what this means, guys. What? Oh boy. I don't even know what you guys got going on there. Bought some Affirm today to very nice Cindy. Good play on that one. And if you guys are laughing for some reason, alright, good. I'm a 45 year old. Not a grandma. AM. Thank you. Clay, oof. It will look like you're holding something else. Now close your hand. Now close your hand and apply. Close your palm. Fist, I don't even know what you mean. Like this? And then put it on like that? Is that what you're talking about? But don't do it like that, right? You're saying do it like that? Is that what, is that what the thing is? Because, I mean, if it's going to become a thing, I need to know what it is. I need to know what it is. But you're talking like this, right? And just like that? Because I don't even know what you're talking about. AMC Trapper says yes. Okay, so if that's the thing, I gotta know what the thing is in case I have to do it in the future. Because I literally do not know what's going on here. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. I, I've never applied chapstick like that in my life. If I'm going to apply chapstick, it's going to be like this. You guys come up with the craziest stuff, man. I, I don't even know where you, how you think of this stuff. But, uh... Yes, like that. 11-11 Simon. Just like that, then, guys. Good. Why can't you watch me apply some chapstick, Natalie? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Oh man, you guys, are, you guys are wild, dude. I don't understand how you come up with this stuff. Like, apply the chapstick with, with no fingers and doing it wrong. Doing it, it sounds like I'm doing it right. I don't know. If you haven't hit like yet, get to it. That is correct. If you guys haven't hit that like button, make sure to click that like button. Oh my gosh, I can't stop watching. <laughs> now I was like, I can't watch. And, and meanwhile, she's over here like this. And then uh, Sam's like, I can't stop watching. <laughs> oh, yes. Place chapstick on lava lamp. Johnson Town, I can't place the chapstick on lava lamp. It'll melt, man. I saw the Astro channel. I think I am more suited here. Vestio, 
Yes, I believe that you would be more suited here. Petey Pete, thank you for the... La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Ya no puede caminar. Ya no puede caminar. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Thank you very much, Petey Pete. For the maracas, I like it, man. I like it. That's a good song. That's a good dance. I hope you guys are all having as much fun as me dancing with the maracas. Thank you very much, Petey Pete. Amazing. And Brett says, chapstick, but with your toes. Dude, I am not putting chapstick stick on with my toes man because look I can't do it because I'm wearing socks man so it's not gonna work because I'm wearing socks you can't do anything with like by putting that on it just it won't fit with socks so maybe if I was you know doing something else I might be able to do that but can't do it with socks on Brett I'm very sorry and uh, to disappoint everybody out there who wanted to see me put some uh, some chapstick on with my toes Brett, thank you very much for the support on that one, and uh, you guys could just imagine that I was putting it on with my toes right now. It's very difficult to hold the chapstick and put it on with your toes. I just, it's, it's difficult, guys. It's very difficult. Thank you very much, Brett. I appreciate that. From as a buy now, pay later, Amazon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother was actually telling me about that yesterday, or the day before, maybe. So now I remember, buy now, pay later. We got like up to four years to pay or something, right? AMC hundreds. Michael, yes, we're gonna get AMC hundred. Clay smokes the mad green. No, man, I I don't smoke any anything green. Clay, no way this squeeze is happening before Christmas. GD, why not? Wouldn't you put the chapstick by your thumb? Cause all thumbs are fingers, but not all fingers are thumbs. Uh, I have no idea if I'm putting chapstick on with my thumb or not. And uh, you guys are really making me wonder about how you put chapstick on, that you know all of this. Oh no, I'm wearing socks. Let me slip into something a little bit more comfortable. Yes, exactly. I gotta put this chapstick on for uh, Brett on my OnlyFans later. And uh, yeah, guys, if you want, if you want to see some chapstick being put on content, that is why uh, that's gonna be the main main driver on my OnlyFans starting up in September. So make sure to subscribe now. Content coming in September. All the different ways to put chapstick on. Brought to you by the YouTube commenters on the YouTube AMC live stream. Yeah, people would people would subscribe to that. They would. So after hours is extremely exciting, dude. Look at this after hours. This is nuts. Look at this channel. Like we can move this down a little bit, but like then we got to move this one down a little bit. This is, this is ridiculous. It's basically stagnant. Hi, Natalie. What's up, Red Lion Sean? I buy stock and pick the biz uh, good spreader. Okay, I'm going to be selling. Walmart uses a firm, too. Cindy! Sounds like a firm is really getting out there. Uh, I love your... The Lipton's lip. Interesting. I like holding a microphone and stare at it. I don't even know what you're... Just like... Like this? Like, just, like you're holding a microphone and then you stare at it? Like you're holding a microphone and then you stare at it, right? You just, oh, you gotta put it on? Like that, maybe. Like that. That might be what you're talking about, I, I think. Maybe, is that what we're doing? Leaving this up for you. Let's leave it up. Yes, leave it up for you. Because that's what you need to do. Thank you very much, 11 Limits Mr. Simon. I appreciate all of the chat. Now lick it. Yeah, I'm not licking my chapstick. You guys are crazy. Mic drop, baby. Mic drop on that one. Thanks, Rockets. Uh, I actually hid them uh, the first time they came in. That's why all of the messages are blank. Interesting. That's the webcam person there. 32 people missed hitting the like button. Come on, people. Make sure to click that like button. Hi, sexy. Terry Underwood. How are you doing? Uh, I look down at it, Clay. Oh, my God. Okay, I will do that next time. I can look down at it next time. Oh my gosh, Chumbucket is lovely. Yes, it might be. Uh, what is up with the firm? I don't know. A firm, it, a firm got a deal with Amazon, right? A firm got a deal with Amazon, and they're apparently already working with Walmart as well. They are buy now, pay later type deal. Click, lick a deodorant stick, instantly dries out your mouth. Sam Blow, I have no desire to lick a deodorant stick. That sounds very dangerous, and I'm sure it does not taste good. And I do not mean, need my mouth dried out, especially since I don't have any water sitting here, and I drank all my coffee already. So I am out of luck at this point if I dry my mouth out. 
But I guess if I did walk up to the bathroom and grab my deodorant, then I could grab some water, too. Uh, no! Lipton, I do not have any sardines, so I can't do that. What's the good... What's what's good, uh, the black Kenneth Griffin in the house? What's up, Kenneth? How you doing? What's up, Brother Clay and Ape Family? Matthew McConaughey is with us. If it smells good, it has to taste good. Facts to live by. Facts to live by, Brett. That is... It's never failed me before. If it smells good, it probably tastes good. It got you holding chapstick and putting it on like chapstick. Yeah, man. I just feel like it's a little bit weird that people put their chapstick on without holding it like a regular person putting chapstick on. I don't know. Uh, just get a better smelling stick. I probably should, man. I probably should get a better smelling stick. Is this a freaky perv day or what? No, this is, Terry, this is normal. This is normal. Completely normal. Perfume can cover up. Yes, it can. can perfume can do wonders. Take deodorant for my goldfish rash. You take deodorant? You take deodorant? Like you, you eat it? That's why they make fruit spray for the bathroom. It's called citrus. Yes, it is, Natalie. It's called citrus spray. Oh my gosh, with a lisp. It's called citrus spray with a lisp, guys. Uh, let's see. Bought some BBIG2. Cindy, very nice. Hopefully you're doing very good on that so far and didn't get it. It's $10 a share. Now, do you have dogs? They have the, if it smells good, it has to taste good attitude. And look how happy they are. Yes, dogs are always so happy. And man, if it smells good, they will eat it. Hood puts are printing. Very nice. CBR1000 Farm 1. Where'd you get your puts at? What price? Talk to tech sucks. I have 1.5 hours drive home yet. Come on, Rockets. Oh, no, Redline Sean. That's a lot. Dude, you don't commute an hour and a half every day. Are you on, are you on vacation? What's the difference between chapstick and a hammer? One is for your lips, and the other, you hit your grandma. No, you do not. Come on, now. You were trained for this. Yeah, you, you just got the chapstick, right? You put the chapstick on with this one, and then you, you get the salt. So you put the salt down while you got this one here. You put the salt down, throw it over your shoulder, and then you just got to <laughs> get it in. Oh, man, it's just... No, dude, I don't like that one. That one burns all over the place. That one burns all over the place, 11-11, Simon. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why anybody would ever train for that. That is ridiculous. The job I'm on right now, it's every day. Red line, Sean. Dude, an hour and a half commute home is a long drive. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know what time you left, dude, but you at least got us for another half hour, so that's good. Rocket says, let's see those rockets in the chat. Sergeant, do we need to talk about your childhood, man? I think we need to talk about his childhood because you did not hit your grandma with hammers. If you're wondering what a goldfish rash is, oh, my gosh, I do not know. I did not need to know that, Lipton. I did not need to know that at all. The only pets my wife allows are fish. Hopefully, AMC squeezes, and I can convince her to get a dog. Vastile, I think you're going to be able to do that once AMC squeezes. You can say, what's the reason you can't have a dog? She doesn't want to take care of it or what? <laughs> Oof. Yeah, Natalie, that's a, uh, that's a pretty intense one there, isn't it? I mean, I guess you're just going to let me know what's going on. That's that's good. Knowledge is power, but it's just some things. I don't know how you use that knowledge. How would you translate that into power? I give up. Clay actually enjoys a room full of weirdos, apparently. No, never give up, man. Never give up. A room full. This is not, not a room full of weirdos. As far as I'm concerned, this is a room full of normal people. Put fish fins on a dog and see how long until she notices. Excellent advice, Brett. Excellent advice. If you put fish fins on a dog, she may never notice. You get a Maltese. A best dog ever. Cindy loves... Ma what does a Maltese look like, though? I'm not sure I know what that dog looks like. Especially through Philly traffic. Oh, man, dude. That's got to be rough. Especially driving in traffic. I don't like driving in traffic. When you're talking about fingers and thumbs, I kept picturing the thumb thumb guy... The thumb thumb guys from Spy Kids. Oh my god. And you've said chapstick so much, I'm singing Malibu's Most Wanted Now. Oh, I forget that song. That was a good movie, though. I forget that song, but that was a good movie. Uh, nice cut, Clay. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I cut my hair yesterday. I think we have entered the dark pool chat. Sam Blow. After hours, if we didn't have, like, if we're not having some... 
some good action after hours and the stocks just kind of sit and stagnant after hours turns into after dark very quick and it's only five it's only 4 30 right now and it's like 1 30 so you guys in california must be really hungry or something you guys didn't eat lunch today i don't get what it is but <whistles> multi poo is a great dog james could be uh jimmy kennedy's star power never faded Never, man. This is Clay after dark. It is, but it's not even after dark. This is just 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Me, Kevin, just put a video with the title, Robin Hood getting banned. Getting banned from where? From who? From what? Robin Hood starting a band? <laughs> yes, Robin Hood may be starting a band, but I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be a good one or not, but we'll find out. Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. There's a Ford Maverick. Yeah, now that sounds familiar. Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. There's a Ford Maverick. Okay, yeah, I got the beat. I got the beat, man. Chris, thank you very much. I appreciate the song because that was a good one. I just forgot about it. AMC, and this is the quiet before the storm. DD214, it could absolutely be the quiet before the storm because I'm telling you right now, this is extremely quiet. This range right here, 4310. To 43.30 after hours, very, very tight range, and uh, hopefully, I mean, if you zoom out like that, it looks bigger, but it's not. It's very tight. 20 cent range after hours. We get to see if it does anything. Clay, could you, or could you, could not tell you, Clay, because I'm here. True, Crypto. True. My bad, man. My bad. Can't wait till I see double digits. Mark, <clears throat> what do you mean double digits? Double digit gains or, or what? What does this mean? I have no idea. I have no idea. <clears throat> That's like point zero 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 five cents. Dang, I missed what Brett had to say. They were shouting a band about payment for order flow called one one hundredth of a nickelback. Oh man. <clears throat> so is that the name of the band? One one hundredth of a nickelback or point zero 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 five cents? Well, nobody knows. Clay, do you think four hundred dollars is realistic? Yeah, I think that's realistic. Unknown. I think that we could hit that price. So I don't think it's going to be easy to watch everybody hold there, and I don't think we're going to shoot straight there, but I do think that we can hit that. Hold up the chart like a picture with a fish you just caught makes it, make it look bigger. I, sh I should do that, like hold up the chart like this. I can't get my hands in front of it. Maybe, maybe like that? Like how do you, nope, the finger's got to get in front of the chart. Some... I, I can't do it, man. I can't hold up the chart. It's too difficult. I wish I could, but I can't. If someone trying to cool down an overly cooked pickle, that might be what it is, Sam. That might be what it is, but I'm not sure still. Means you're as cool as a cucumber. DD214. I think you might be on to something there. Matthew McConaughey. Thank you for the super chat. Matthew McConaughey says, Click. I appreciate your help on AMC and the education on how apes should hold. Pass the word apes. We are strong only if we stay together. Yeah, guys, if, if you and I were the only... People who consider themselves apes, right? 245 of us. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Like the 245 of us in here are, are going to hold AMC? Okay, great. We, we, we control like nothing. Out of all the shares, we need more. We need, we need more than 245 people. So spread the word that we're not going anywhere. Thank you very much, Matthew McConaughey. I appreciate it, man. Clayro, you follow another short squeeze plays. One in a big this morning. Looks promising. I'll be using those tennies. Come back and AMC. John, yeah, I'm following them, but I'm not in them. Bits. Uh, it's all about them angles, man. Just hold the chart in some good lighting. Slightly closer to the camera. The rest of you can flex the chart a bit. Then the rest of you and flex the chart a bit. Yeah, that's all you got to do, man. That's all you got to do. If I want to make it look bigger, it's all about perspective. So it's all about perspective when it comes to getting that big chart out there. And, uh, shoot, man. When it, when it, sometimes when it's big, you don't even care about the angle. Batman screenplay by Sam Ham based on the character. Interesting paradox. Not exactly sure what we're talking about there. Hold the chart with the palm using little fingers. Yeah, track that. You guys, you guys got it now, don't you? Natalie Lipton Lips. Ha ha. Man, I miss what Natalie Lipton Lips had to say. That's what we were talking about, the goldfish thing. I'm going to leave you lovely apes. See you tomorrow. Thanks for the entertainment. Crypto Rockets here, man. Have a good night. And uh, definitely see you tomorrow morning, 11 p.m. E 11 a.m. Eastern time, which is what? I think six hours for you, 5 o'clock p.m. Is that what it is? 
So, brother, I'm still in. Good deal, Javier. I as well. I don't like Nickelback. Can't do drive-by. No, you cannot, Sergeant. And, uh, but I do recommend listening to Nickelback. It's good, good, good music, man. Measure it from the bottom, bottle of the bottom of the candle, not the top. You got to, man. You got to measure from the bottom of the candle, not the top. Because if you go to the top of the candle, it's just, it's not, it's not as good. That's one of the birdie put from 15 tomorrow. The birdie put from 15 feet. Oh, today was like a smooth 8 iron from 160. Tomorrow, the birdie put from 15. Chris, interesting. Sounds like you like golf. Are those good? Are those good shots, man? Have a good night, Crypto Rocketeer. Absolutely. 5 p.m. on the dot. Nice, Crypto. See, I know my time zones, man. I know my time zones. Where's Lauren, though? Does anybody know where Lauren's at today? I'm kind of concerned that she hasn't made her way in here and uh, Lauren if you're listening right now but you're busy with a client I'm very glad that you're listening I just it's always better it's always better when you type in the chat <coughs> bye my amazing my family goodbye crypto rocketeer wait 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 what are anything G Tech is here here I oh, got I guarantee I missed something I guarantee I missed here since January for the after hour thanks for the after hour energy absolutely April oh man look at that candle is that real is that real mm, no I think I was just back up to the close I don't think that was real I think it's just a bad tick back up to the close if it's real very nice let's find out uh, Natalie, you're not supposed to know these things. What does Natalie know? Brett, while chart says wait, don't yet, don't look yet. Give me a minute. 15 minutes later. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 15 minutes later? What? A tech support, this happens to all of the charts sometimes. Yes, it does happen to all the charts, but it's okay. It's all right. Bethany, retracting more messages. Come on, ya cute little dog. Stop retracting those messages. Here for order flow is legal in the UK for a reason. Just saying about time you guys catch up. Have a nice day. Well done, apes. Mark, yeah, a lot of things are illegal in the UK that aren't illegal here. And I'm uh, not sure if we need to catch up or not. I don't have a problem with here for order flow. But with that being said, we'll find out what happens. Maltese are only white and are like puppies all of their life. Most playful, loving cuddle bugs. Two to three thousand for a Maltese. Cindy loves the little Maltese dogs. I've I don't know if I I can't picture a Maltese right now. I can't do it. Okay, bro. Now now, y'all, what's going on? Um, I can't picture a Maltese. So the chart is probably just nervous or had too much to drink. Either one, Brett. Either one. The chart does look a little nervous right now but it'll be okay guys it'll be okay the chart will make its way back when it needs to make its way back it'll make its way back it'll be good this is after hours for sure like i i feel like i need to take a drink of something i don't have any coffee hey bro missed you so much bro darn been so busy with work still diamond handing now now y'all why do you stay why do you guys get so busy with work that you can't hang out answer not a rhetorical question. I want to know why you guys get so busy with work that you can't hang out with us. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stay stay good. The chart just loves you so much. It only wants to cuddle tonight. The, sometimes cuddling nights are the best nights. Those weren't glitches. Those definitely were not glitches. We were trading around here. Very nice. I liked it. But remember, it's still a tight channel. So, Which platform are you using, Claybro, for the stock trading there? It is Weeble. Chaz, it's Weeble. If you don't have a Weeble account, make sure to use the link in the description below and grab that one. The chart talked a big game earlier today. Now it can't hold up. Just say in time to humble, chart. Man, they are ripping you pretty good today, chart. Ah, man. Chart, if you're going to talk a good game and it comes back down after hours, well... When it's time to when it's time to perform, chart you got to stay up. You got to perform. Lauren is here. Oh my goodness, Lauren, were you listening like five minutes ago? I hope you were. Claybro, you look tired. Take a power nap. Javier, do I really look tired? I don't feel that tired. Thanks. Absolutely, Chaz. Thank you. That's why I've been a little late. Er, I've been late in the chat. I had to do more work. Oh, AMC Trapper. No, man. Why do you guys all have to do so much work? That's just bad. Hang out with us. Come on. 
I'm here, you silly sausage. Thank you for being here, Lauren. Oh my goodness, I am so glad you're here. Clay, how high do you think this will go this week? PDP, man, I want to test 48. I, I think we can, with some good action, I think we can test 48 this week. Whether we break, if we break through it, I think we're going 50, but I, I, I think 48 is going to be an important test. You keep yawning. Oh, well, it's probably because I keep screaming, man. And when I keep screaming and talking a lot, I need some more oxygen. So I think that's why I'm yawning. I'm really not that tired. I think it's because I, I like talk a lot and then I scream and I need to breathe in. And the best way to do that is to yawn. Because even doing it now, I haven't really taken a breath this entire time that I've been talking. <clears throat> so I need I need to do that. I just need to get a breath in there. I don't know why. Rocket says, let's see that peach, Clay, bro. You guys want to see this fuzzy peach all day? Yeah, there you go, man. Mm -hmm. That fuzzy peach is for you, Rocket. Lauren, I know you want to touch it, but you can't. This one's for Rocket. Sorry, guys. Rocket, guys. I might have to shave because you can't even see that this is a peach right now. This is difficult. When it's that fuzzy, you can't even see that it's a peach. Man. Rocket, thank you very much for the peach. I appreciate all of the super stickers and all of the super chats. You guys are awesome. He is not breathing effectively. It is true. I am definitely not breathing effectively, and that's what's causing me to yawn. So then I yawn, and uh, it helps a little bit. And then I start to go on another rant, and start to scream, and start to breathe, and then we go on and go on and go on. Uh, let's see. I need to bleach that peach. Come on now, man. If I bleach this peach, it's not going to look out. Putting t-shirts and listening at work. A bomb. Very good. Uh, the squeeze would have happened already. So back to doing overtime to get the... There you go, AMC Trapper. Get that overtime in. And I also thought that the squeeze would have happened as well. But uh, it hasn't happened yet. And we're still hitting, sitting here waiting. Oh, I love macaroons. Very nice. Uh, don't do it, Clay. She already ruined macaroons for me. What am I not doing? Yes, Natalie. I love... Ruin them for me, too. Please, ruin them for me. Just, just ruin me. While you're at it. Maroon 5. Oh, Maroon 5 is the best, for sure, man. Macaroon 5 is the best. Did you know that yawning is contagious? Is yawning also contagious over the internet? That felt good. Now, 241 of you, I want to know how many of you were tempted to yawn after I did that. This is, uh, we're, we're testing this right now. Is yawning contagious over the internet? Because that was actually a very, I don't know, successful yawn. That felt really good. Touched it. Sorry. <laughs> Lauren touched the peach. Oh, no. Oh, Lauren, you're amazing. Pete, yes, I did. It's an M it's an MPV thing. So if you yawn and people around you don't, it's because they're they it's because they freaking hate you. Oh no, man! If they don't yawn, dude, I didn't know if it's an MPV thing. Okay, good. So we got some people yawning here. Interstellar bulls yawning about a hundred more. Hey, Lauren, got me. TJW by Owen, did I get you for real? Good deal. Expensive. I don't know. Yep, got me. Nice, Scott. Nice. Nope, not me. Cindy, come on now. I yawned. Lemon too. Got you guys good, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Peach up top. Walnut down below. Whatever that means, man. You got me. Just yawn. Red line, Sean. I like it. I did not yawn. Glares a clay. Yeah, you did, Sam. Yeah, you did. Sus. Carmelo says sus. What is always so sus about things? People come in here and, and like, is that a ticker symbol and you're just not capitalizing the letters? Or is something suspect about what's going on here? I didn't yawn, but it's not personal. I just slept well all weekend. I feel like I slept well all weekend too, but I feel like yawns are, are contagious. Mark says nope. Oh, man, I don't even know what you're noping. I didn't get you with the yawn. Still yawning. Oh, no. T-Bone is still yawning. I'm tired. Caught me. I actually did yawn. I knew it. Simonim and I sub. Carmelo. John Slaughter. Let's see if you sub, because if you did, your name goes up here, and then I'll say it again. I'm wanting 1,000 a share, but if we went over what Amazon is trading, that would be dope. Chris, that would be extremely... I would love that, man. I would love that. Can you say my name out loud, please? Random person. Yes, I did say your name out loud. I missed you yawning, but I saw a yawning emoji. What the heck? DD214, did a yawning emoji make you yawn? Really? Drum roll, then someone yawns. 
He did. There's a few things I love more. I'm in this world over at Talking. He did. There's a few things I love more in this world over at Talking Bread Inn. But I don't know what what somebody said. Oh. Brett slept very well. There's few things you love more than talking men. Gotcha. Now I now I know what's going on. Could be caught in a yawn loop where someone cares about you, yawns back, and then you yawn because you yawn and because they yawn and so forth. Yeah, dude, if you get caught in a yawn loop, you gotta close your eyes. If you get caught in a yawn loop, you gotta close your eyes and walk away. It's the best way to get out. Yes, he did it. Random person. I, yeah, man, of course. I'll say your name. Always yawn on a first date to see if they like you. Brett, that might be the most that might be the best advice anybody's ever given on this live stream. If you want to go on a first date and yawn and they yawn back, might, they might be into you. The emotional attachment this dude feels towards emojis to actually feel their tiredness through a computer is incredible. DD214 has it in his soul, man. I mean, okay, saw so that one. First date yawn. It happens, dude. It happens. Have you cut your hair? You left the beard though, right? Yes, so I cut the hair, I believe it was yesterday when I cut the hair, and then uh, beard. So I did trim the beard, like I, I trimmed the beard, uh, not very much, but I, I trimmed up the stragglers that were on there. So I don't know if you guys consider that like shaving or not, but like I, I trimmed it up to make sure that it was not getting wild, and uh, but pretty much left it because I did not really take anything off at all. A diamond hand Maltese dogs breed and make two to three thousand a puppy. Yes, indeed. Morning's only possible if they hear the sound of a nice old steel pan plan. Like, what, Lipton? I don't know. Yawns and looks at the girl across the table who doesn't yawn back. That's it. I'm leaving. Except Sam, the, the girl at the table next to you guys, yawn. What do you do then? Rocket! Thank you for the super chat. Rocket says, yawn. Shana? Shana, are you are you are you yawning right now, Shana? We need to know. Did you yawn? Or if you never hear from them again, maybe it's because you're yawning at dinner like an 80-year-old. Rip, Natalie. Rip. Oh man, that's it. Okay, forget it. I was thinking about yawning during ski ball, but that plan is out the door, so that's not gonna happen anymore. Mm, shot that one down pretty quick, didn't you? Sorry, I yawned so big when Rocket did. I ate my keyboard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, at least we know that Brett cares about Rocket. That's the good stuff, right? Hey, Clay, I have this theory that Kenny G is trying to wait until January in hopes that a lot of apes will take profits for Christmas, sort of like GameStop deja vu. Ferrari boy. Hey, man, that could be a decent theory. Whether or not it plays out, I have no idea. But, hey, if they wait till January, a lot of us are going to be in long-term capital gains at that point, so it's going to be nice. Natalie says, just kidding. Yeah, right, Natalie. You are not kidding. Thoughts on SPRT, BBIG is a short-term buy for profits. Going to MC. Yeah, BG101, man. If you got extra funds in your portfolio, I have no problem with you guys trading more than uh, more than AMC. I, I don't recommend going 100% into AMC. But if you do, if you YOLO, clearly it could work out very well for you. It's been working out very well for Philip and uh, Oil Tipped and anybody else who has... 80, 90, 100% of their portfolio in AMC at this point. Uh, I know what else is really contagious. A Chewbacca sounds. Hmm, dude, my Chewbacca sounds are not good. I can't do those. I want to look at neckline is life. You like the neckline? Is that what you got? You like the neckline here? So, so it does it for me. You need to shave your neckline, dude. Why would I? But why would I do that? Why would I shave that here? I'm trying to connect it all the way down. I don't know if you guys can see. With the thing on there, it's too much of a glare, but like, see, we're going to get it. We're going to get it connected. It's just, it comes in, uh, I don't know, it doesn't come in as thick down there. We'll get it connected, though. Like, you can see that we're going to make it. We're going to go all, we're just going to Austin Powers all the way down. All the way down, Austin Powers. Endless riblets and $1 at Bahama Mama. For something? Can you give some insight on BBIG and AQST, please, Clay Bro? Traffic on Wall Street. Uh, listen, they certainly don't have as, as large of a community as AMC, okay? So if you're going to be playing a play like BBIG, and SPRT, and all of these other ones, it's not going to be the same deal. So don't expect them to go to $10 and like support at $58 or whatever, and then just continue to rip and have that continued support there. Those plays could end a lot quicker than AMC will because they don't have the same community surrounding them that's that it's going to keep it built up for that that type of that time frame. 
Ah, uh, Clay, if everyone in an Applebee's decided together to share one order of endless riblets, would that be collusion? No. No, that would not be collusion, dude. That would not be collusion. That would be smart. That's what I would say. That would be smart. Rosa Maleno. Okay. Yeah, talk about Chewbacca. Remind me that I love you, Chewbacca meme. All right. Brett, I have a feeling I'd get stuck with the synthetic riblix. No! Nah, nah, y'all. Number one fan. Number one fan. Number one fan. Number one fan. Thank you very much. And now, now, y'all. Now, now, y'all. And I'm pretty sure now, now, y'all is a real estate agent in Southern California. So if you guys want to buy a house in SoCal, post squeeze. Do it post squeeze because if you guys if you guys live in California right now, pre squeeze. I don't know. Way too expensive. I would recommend somewhere in Ohio. You're gonna be better off than Southern California. But uh, now, now, y'all. Is that correct? Is that, that's you, right? With the the real estate agent in SoCal. Say hello. Well, that's the secret. They're all synthetic. Oh no. That's how they get away with it. That's how they get away with it. All synthetic rib meat. Eating pizza for lunch right now. Buy yourself a slice, bro. Now, now, y'all. Thank you very much. You definitely live in SoCal, dude. Because for $10, I can get myself an entire pizza. Not just a slice. I can get an entire pizza. You pizzas out there in Southern in California must cost like $80. $80 for a pie. That's just ridiculous, man. But thank you very much for the number one fan. Number one fan. Number one fan. I appreciate that, now now You are now now y'all. Uh, I love to throw peaches at the wall, aka the fan. Do it. Throw them at the wall. Chubby chubby chuck. Okay. Brett, not the only one to have blown my uh what? Money? But now you've blown my mind. <laughs> Dude, I feel like Brett. If I don't become best friends with everybody other than uh, Kelby, then uh, I know for a fact Sam and Brett are going to be best friends. They're going to be best friends in until the day they die. Post squeeze, it's going to be amazing for you guys. Number two fan. Guess that's what a dollar ninety nine gets you. Rocket. Number two fan. Number two fan. Mm -hmm. Number two fan. That's number two fan. Number two fan. Good job, Rocket. I guess that's all the dollar on that super chat gets you. Rocket, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. Click eighty dollars is the tip here in California, not the price of a pizza. Oh my gosh, eleven eleven Simon, you need to come to Ohio and you need to come right now. Post squeeze, we're getting bunk beds. <laughs> the only question is, man, you guys don't have to fight it out here. Who gets the top? That's it. That's all I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, Rocket? Come on now. I'm not stacking these things now. I'm not in stacking these things now. It's all right. You don't have to be you don't have to stack these things now. It's okay. You just stack them later. Homework for tonight. Having a mouse move every 10 minutes so I show active at work. That's exactly what you need to do, man. It's exactly what you need to do. Or just uh I think you can go into the settings and and change your active time to like 30 minutes or 45 minutes before it shows that you're inactive. So you should look at that first. That might be better for you. If you're on like Microsoft Teams, you can go in there and, and just change that. Why is going into a moose like a stack of, I have no idea, man. Don't worry, Rocket, we can squeeze into that bottom bunk. Yes, you can. Get into that bottom bunk together. Oh no, webcam chat coming in hot again. Is Ohio cheaper than PA? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, there you go, guys. Ohio may be the best place to live. AMC gang up. Luca! What's going on, Luca? Plot twist. We don't have designated spots. We fight for top each night. Now, that's interesting. Now, that would be an interesting thing. Attach a mouse to your mouse, maybe. <laughs> okay. Lauren just hit genius mode. I, uh, I don't know if anybody in here has ever thought of that. And, uh, yes. Yes. Lauren, attach a mouse to your mouse, maybe. That is the best thing ever. You just changed my life. DD214. Me or Lauren? Because I feel like if you found it on Teams, you can change the active status. Good. But if you're listening to Lauren, that's going to be much more of an interesting strategy there. What about when California King, we bring one girl into the mix so it's not weird? There you go, Brett. There you go. You guys, you guys are doing better on that one. Okay, I'll agree to bringing a woman along as long as I still get dibs on Big Spoon. <laughs> what are you, boys? 
Oh, God. I got to see. I think you guys are making my allergies go, but it is 5 o'clock, so that's good. So we're going to be getting off here soon. Bye, bye, bye. Hold on, hold on. AMC, AQST. It's just that simple trace. So it could be. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Mouse on mouse action. I like that one better. Yeah, the mouse on mouse action is. That's just epic. I'm, I may have to get a mouse just to tie it to my mouse. Like, put it on a little leash and connect it to my mouse there. The moon is coming. DD14 was actually talking about the webcam chat link. Changing his life. Awkward. Oh, man. It happens. But he had to cover it up somehow. The webcam chat link. I don't know why that guy still hangs out in here, but it's all right. I sunk into a cow's... Interesting, man. Lipton. That's that's an interesting one there. Clay, it's 11 a.m. in Hawaii. Oh, my gosh. Matthew McConaughey is extremely early over there. It's 5 p.m. here. You guys need some light crawler. What? List crawler? What is that, Sergeant? Some of you guys need list crawler. I don't even know what that is. Rocket and Natalie is being awfully quiet. She is, Natalie. Why are you being quiet? Guys, it is 5 o'clock. We've hung out. We've had such a great time this afternoon. But I do still need time to get the video out for this evening. And uh, we got to make sure Natalie's okay. Lauren, thank you for hanging out with us. I don't know if you were listening earlier, but... Thank you for uh, responding after I give you a little shout out there. It's always better when you're in the chat. Yo, bro, 48 tomorrow. Let's get it, Johannes. Let's get it, Sam Blow. Or maybe just maybe Clay Homework. How to clear search history. Yes, we need to do both of those, man. Where Natalie. Yes, where Natalie. That's what we should be doing. A disclaimer. I will be eating mozzarella sticks in bed. It is all right. Those mozzarella sticks that Brett, that Brett makes are the best mozzarella sticks. All right, I got to get the mattress firm anyway. Yes, you do need to do that. We guys got to pick up some California Kings for everybody. Mega bites. Get some mega bites. All right, guys. Deal is. Get your name in the chat. I was... <laughs> Lauren always changes her name. Lauren was Bethany. Okay. Now the beautiful puppy. Now I understand. Gotcha. Lauren, Bethany, whatever your name is uh, this in this afternoon, darling, all of the above, thank you for hanging out with us in the chat. I do appreciate that. Uh, bye, Clay. Uh, bye, everyone. Please click at the ETC chart. It's from the conception. Very nice coin right now. Love you, man. Love you too, Neil Wolf. Natalie works while in the chat. Yes, she does. Natalie keeps it real. Man, I have a 50-minute ride. You can't go yet. Red line, Sean. You're going to have to... Uh, I don't know, maybe you can hang out with like a mass investor or somebody Somebody might be live. I don't know. But I got to get a video out of here pretty soon, so we got to get that in. It catfished again every single time, man. Lauren is just too good. I like to keep you on your toes. Lauren, okay, somebody needs to make it their job to watch the green names that don't necessarily that have changed, okay? And then we need to know if it's Lauren or not. So somebody needs to monitor the green names and make sure that Lauren is not getting one over on me. So let's get some shout-outs, guys. <clears throat> and uh, all the links in the description below. You guys know all that. Good deal, good deal. And all right, shout-out time. Lauren, Sam Blow, I'm cool. 1111 Simon, Lipton's Lips, Diddy214, all my screenshots of Clay in it. That's what I'm talking about, Diddy214. AMC Trapper, goodbye to the apes and Clay Bro and Grandmas. Definitely don't forget the Grandmas. Riptide Redemption, Lauren Vestile, Lauren again, Redline Sean, Sam Blow, Matthew McConaughey, Catfish, ooh, all day long. Sergeant Baloney, have a good afternoon, man. Brett, good evening. Lisa, have a great evening. Make sure you guys check out the video at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. And and I don't even know what time that makes it over there for Lauren. Like, 1 a.m., Lauren, go to sleep. Watch it in the morning. It'll be all right. Bye, Clay, bro. Lisa, enjoy the evening. Neo Wolf, enjoy it. I'm cool. I just got here. It's all right, man. Make sure to watch the video tonight. Come back tomorrow morning. We'll be here. 11 time. Bye. Till tomorrow, my brother. Till tomorrow, Matthew McConaughey. I like it. Mahalo how for coming, to for coming here. Good day. Claude, good day to you as well. Cindy, have a great afternoon. Great evening, wherever you're at. And, uh, guys, if you want to say it with me, you know what time it is. New Fall. I haven't even seen you in the chat, man. Have a good one. Have a good evening. If you guys want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.